Hi everyone. I I went live a couple minutes early because there's a cat again, and I just thought you might like to see him. So hi everyone, welcome back to Shrimp Stream. <laughs> He's very excited to be here. No no shrimp, stay, shrimp, shrimp. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I thought I got scared for a minute there, but I think we should be okay. <laughs> anyway, hi everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day so far. Happy Saturday. We have some work to do. We got some apartments to finish. <laughs> so uh, we, we better get started. But yeah, I went live like 10 minutes early because Shrimp was sitting there. So I was like, how can I not? You know? <laughs> when there's a cat in the cat cam, you may as well go live early. I was just sat here anyway, so I <laughs> might as well. <laughs> anyway, hi everyone. Welcome, welcome. We started yesterday working on this build, uh, making these apartments, which actually I've discovered look really cool from Manage Worlds. I think that looks really good over there from Manage Worlds. So I'm feeling good about that. Um, but we started building that yesterday. Uh, we built the full exterior and like finished the layouts and stuff. And now we have 12 interior apartments to finish. So that's kind of the goal for today, is to finish all 12 <laughs> of, of the inside apartments. <laughs> Should be interesting. Also, I'm, I'm just letting The Sims 4 play its own music right now, which is a little bit jarring. I'm not used to doing this during my streams, but I thought it'd be nice today, you know? <laughs> it's not early access default. We're playing with just the base game. Um, we're kind of like prepping for when we do have early access. So that way we have an apartment already like ready to go and stuff. Um, so that's kind of the, that's kind of the idea. Um, hey Chip and, and Renee and Dare and Andy and Bonnie and Crystal and Jordan and Nye and Emily and Kales and Kaybell. Uh, we got JC and Kayla and, and uh, Pam and Commodore and Sarah and Maya and, and Popsy. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Anyway, this one is shrimp. By the way, if you were just tuning in and wondering, what cat is that? Which cat is there? It's Shrimp. Shrimpy. Shrimp. No, he doesn't listen to his name. He's not smart like that. <laughs> um, but that one is Shrimp. His sister is with Dan right now. Sunny and Snap are both um, in Dan's office. So, or I think actually Snap was in the guest room when I last checked. But anyway. Anyway, Shrimp and his one white whisker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finn and KM and Agatha, thank you for the subs, everybody, too. Okay, when are we building the new house for the YouTube Legacy? Probably once the pack is actually out, Car. Because I would like to, um, here's the thing. I kind of want to wait to build the new Legacy house until the pack is officially out, because that way I know how it works better. Um, and like right now I'm doing this with the base game in preparation for when I have early access so I can use it in the CFE version of the game that is just the base game and the new pack. Um, whereas like with the Legacy house, I want to use all the packs, you know, like I want to go all out. So probably we'll wait until like De December 8th or something, <laughs> you know, um, to work on it is kind of what I was thinking, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, what pack? Uh, the new apartment expansion pack coming out in a couple weeks. Exciting stuff. Um, but anyway, I need to put the shrimp picture by him. I do have a little tiny shrimp emoji that I put on the screen yesterday. Um, to help make it more obvious that it's shrimp, but I don't think most people understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Jesse, Alice, Naya, and Skylar, and Fen, thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay, let me show you what's going on. So this is the apartment complex that we built. Um, we started this whole thing yesterday. We've kind of built like the full exterior and the full layout. It's, oh, it deleted my terrain paint. Deep breath, everybody, deep breath. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, everything's fine. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> of course, it deleted my train paint. Uh, but this, it's like two identical buildings. Um, the insides are, are completely the same, so I don't need to show you both yet, but um, we've kind of done the bathrooms and figured out floor plans. So downstairs here, there's like a two bedroom unit and a one bedroom unit. Um, you go upstairs, there's two one-bedroom units with bigger bathrooms. You go upstairs again, we've got a one-bedroom unit and then another two-bedroom unit. So in total, there's six units in each building. Um, there's two that are two-bedroom and four that are one-bedroom in each building. So in total, there's 12 on this lot. Um, so that's kind of the situation. <laughs> yeah, it's a common glitch, Luna, that deleted the terrain paint. It kind of makes me want to cry a little bit, but it's fine. Everything's fine. 
So, have I ever made butter? Like, 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 made it from scratch? Yeah, actually, in elementary school, they had us do a thing where they bought, like, a little carton of, like, cream or whatever, and they had us all go around the room shaking it furiously until it turned into butter. So, yes. <laughs> I have done that in elementary school. <laughs> that was a class activity, in fact. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, you think it's three with two bedrooms and three with just one. No, no, it's just the two. There's one on the first floor with two bedrooms and then one on the, the third floor with two bedrooms. Um, most of them have just the one bedroom, one bedroom, one bedroom. So, um, we're going to play Among Us on Monday. Um, that's the thing. I meant to tell you guys that about that, about that today too, because we officially decided it's kind of hard, uh, this month to schedule it because obviously with Thanksgiving being a couple days ago, um, everybody's been quite busy. Um, and a lot of people were like out of town and stuff. Um, but officially, officially we're playing Among Us on Monday, uh, with our, with our Sims friends. So that is the plan. Um, Ah, uh, Scorpio, we took, it took us like three hours yesterday. And no, 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 Sherry, this is not the new world. Guys, I'm gonna say it like a million times today, I'm so sorry. We do not have early access, this is just the base game. I literally uninstalled all the packs. <laughs> we only have the base game right now. This is, this is in Willow Creek. Um, this is where the museum usually is in Willow Creek. You guys might recognize these, like, this is just like regular old Willow Creek. Um, where we're doing it with just the base game on purpose. Um, so, maybe put it in the title. It is building a giant apartment complex, and it's base game. <laughs> um, it is in the title. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know how much more we could do. <laughs> um, but why not last room take a whole floor? Well, we like the being smaller on purpose. Um, smaller on purpose is kind of the vibe that we're going for. Maybe, maybe if you build something like this, or if you renovate it, you can make it take up a whole floor, but... Um, I, I like it being small. That's kind of been my, my dream for the, the apartments in The Sims 4 for many years now is to have small ones. Uh, we have so many big apartments in San Maishuno. Like, I've been desperately wanting to have small apartments for years. <laughs> so, now that we can finally make them small, I don't have a desire to make big ones. Like, we have big ones. Um, we have big ones. Well, yeah, Focus, that's why it's also pinned in the chat that it's base game. There's only so much that we can do. <laughs> There's only so much that we can do. Um, but anyway, anyway. All right, well, this is the situation. Oh, also in the middle, there's like a courtyard area. The terrain paint glitched itself, so we'll have to, um, we'll probably just do the terrain paint again at the very end. That'll be like the last thing we do probably, um, is do the terrain paint, because I cannot bring myself to have to worry about fixing it and have it delete again. Um, but yeah, this should be good. Did EA say how many apartments per lot there can be? Yeah, so, so we know for sure that there can be six, um, like by default, but there's there's gonna be like a cheat to have more than six. So anyway, we started it yesterday, allegedly. We started it yesterday. I'm gonna try and read some subs again quick and then we can start building, okay? <laughs> um, Grape and Ozzy and Michelle and Lilo and Emily and Simeli and Lumix and Duda and Sully and Feb. Uh, we got Allegedly and Voids and Jess and Melly and Katie and Kay and C uh, and Pip and All and Kay and Kate and Marshmallow uh, and Heifer and Alyssa and Desi and Alice. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, I also saw someone ask a second ago if you can do two-story apartments, and that is for sure confirmed from the um, from the trailers and stuff. They were building all kinds of different things. It looks like you're going to be able to set the apartments and like what is a unit based on rooms. So you could choose to make, like if you wanted to, you could have like this whole thing of three floors be a unit. You could have just the bathroom be a unit and rent out someone can live in the bathroom. You could make a basement and just the basement's the unit. So it seems like you can really customize what the units are and how they're split up because you do it based on the rooms in game. Um, so I don't know, Lloyd, here's the thing about this, right? I, I really don't enjoy when stuff leaks, <laughs> like, like when stuff like this happens and the pack is so close to coming out and then like the map leaks, it really, it makes me feel sad and I don't really want to talk about it. I know that it's impossible to not talk about it because a lot of you all know about it and you're going to ask about it constantly and then you're going to ask and the chat's going to be like, wait, what leak? What happened? What? What? And then it just spirals, you know? Um, I just don't really like doing it. Um, in this situation, I have already 
seen the map, hypothetically. If I were to have early access right now, I would have hypothetically already seen the map. So I wouldn't feel too personally offended by this leak because I wouldn't have to personally avoid it, hypothetically, right? Normally with leaks, if I haven't seen it yet, I try to like close my eyes because <laughs> I don't want to see it before it comes out. Um, but this one, I don't know. I just, I don't really want to, I don't really want to get into it. So, um, anyway. <laughs> Aaron and Kay and Ray and Sapphire and Evan and Miro, thank you for the subs, everybody. This is the thing, right? They, they, you're not supposed to talk about it, but like, everybody knows that everybody gets early access. So like, anyway, um, hypothetically, of course. <laughs> hypothetically, um, normally with all the previous packs, everybody gets early access. <laughs> Um, okay, anyway. Also, I saw someone ask a second, ago, a second ago, too. That's not a picture of a cat. It's a literal real-life cat who's sitting right there. Um, he's- he is alive. He is also breathing. He's- he's all black, so you can't really tell that well. Um, it's- oh, his arm moved. See? It's hard to- it's hard to see. Because he's like a little void. <laughs> but- but that is- his name is Shrimp, and he is- he is really there. It's not just a picture. If I were to just put a picture of my cat on the screen, I'd probably pick a better picture. No offense, but he looks kind of weird right now. So. Anyway, if it moves, don't be alarmed. <laughs> if all of a sudden, if like a, you know, it stands up or something. <laughs> Yeah, we've had two days in a row. Cats are funny like that. He gets some... Um, they kind of go through phases of where they want to sit, you know? Full offense, he looks like an oil spill. Flute and Fancho went forever and gleefully. Thank you for the subs. He kind of does. <laughs> Kayla, do you only read Twitch chat or do you see Discord too? Oh, good God. Scorpio, there's no way I... I could read the Discord server and the Twitch chat at the same time. The chat already moves fast enough to miss stuff from the chat, so um, we definitely can't do both at the same time um, while I'm streaming. I do have Discord open uh, in case anything happens and my mods have to be like, oh my god, Kayla, quick! Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, I don't read like the live stream chat channel in the Discord while I'm streaming because you can't do both, so. Um, chat's here, Discord's there, <laughs> so would be like really back and forth, you know? Um, yeah, I think we are gonna try and make all the apartments different styles. So this is the other thing, if you're just tuning in and you're like, Kayla, why are all the floors different? Um, we, we made all the floors different colors. This was sort of an intentional choice to make it more immediately obvious to folks in chat which apartment is which. Cause like, when you're just loading in, it's kind of, I mean, I painted all the walls yellow, obviously, so it's kind of obvious that way, but I'm about to change the color of the walls. So it's gonna be less obvious which one is which. Um, so we painted them all um, and did the floors different so that it's more obvious when you first come in um, and you're like trying to figure out where the apartments are. Um, so that's the situation. Um, all right, shall we just start building then? We have 12 apartments to furnish. <laughs> Um, Herb and Francie and Estella and Curly and Amy and Casey and Schmuddle, thank you for the subs. We can do it, we can do it. I think that they should be relatively simple too. I think that to an extent, it would be, it would be beneficial to us to have like, um, I don't know. I think to an extent it would be beneficial to us if we had like, sort of cheap-ish apartments happening. Um, because that way like, it would be easier for us to, oh, maybe I should put the kitchen like, I don't know, that's gonna be bad. Well, maybe it won't be bad, hold on, I'm not sure. Guys, I need to think about this. Um, maybe not like quite starter home, but still reasonably affordable, because otherwise it'll be hard for you to like, play with it, you know? But we'll see. Um, what have we done so far on this build? Well, we haven't started really anything today. So if you've only been here today, you have not missed anything, but we did build the whole exterior yesterday. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, uh, we're gonna do a lot of, of furnishing today, is kind of the vibes for, for this stream. Um, I don't think I'm, I think this one's gonna be a little bit more traditional. 
I think is what I'm gonna do in here. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not quite traditional, but we'll see. Furnish your favorite part? Really? I think furnishing is my least favorite part. At least of at least of this one today. Cause I I feel like um I had so much fun building the exterior. Like the exterior was kind of oh god. The exterior was more exciting to me with this one in particular, I think. Okay, I'm gonna do a little switcheroo again. I've decided. Wait, hold on. I did this in one of the other apartments. We kind of have to do some things to take advantage of the full space. What on earth? Okay, that's the right color. There we go. Um, Go like that. You go like that. You go like that. There we go. Smaller kitchen. That gives us more space for the living room. That is more like it. <laughs> Okay, didn't you used to hate landscaping? I don't think that I ever hated landscaping. I think when I was like, when I when I built less often and was like less good at building, however, you know, whatever that means, because everybody, it's subjective, right? But when I felt like I was not as good at building, um, I think that I enjoyed doing exteriors less and I, I liked doing the interior more. But I think that kind of makes sense because the interior is like uh, interior decorating sim, whereas the exterior is kind of hard to do if you're not that good at building or if you don't like building that much. Um, so, I don't know. Okay, let's get... I don't think I like this rug. I do like the idea of using a rug like this as kind of a color scheme determiner but we'll see. I kind of initially had thought, and this isn't really working out how I wanted it to at this current moment, but I had kind of initially thought that we would do the living room like over here and have the kitchen somewhere else, but it's kind of tight. See, like having that giant couch doesn't really fit. So, like that's not gonna work. <laughs> that is not gonna work. You have to be really careful with how we space this out. Um, interior is so much fun for you. Yeah, I like doing interiors. I don't dislike doing interiors. I think that I just have more fun with the exterior a lot of the time. Um, which is interesting. I don't know. No, it's not early access. <laughs> it's not early access. We're just playing the regular game. This is just the base game, unfortunately. Um, oh, I want to use a fun colored rug somewhere. That'll be nice somewhere. Maybe over here. Um... Can we size down the rug? That one actually was sized down, believe it or not. <laughs> the one that I was just using, that was sized down. Okay, this'll work. We'll pick a different color, obviously, but... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We can make that one match, I guess, potentially. All right. What color scheme should we go for? Okay, we can't do blue because then I'm gonna get bullied, so. Um. I don't hate the idea of the green. Because we could use like the nice light colored green. We could do like green and yellow or something. That might be a little bit too yellow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but maybe the yellow could be good. We can see how it goes. This is really... The, the inside of this is pretty big. I don't know. Pink? Well, so, Banana, let's keep in mind for a second chat, right? We have 12 apartments to furnish. <laughs> 12. Um, so, so, yeah, any ideas you might have? <laughs> we'll get to them. We'll get to them. Just give us a minute, you know? Because <laughs> there's gonna be a lot to do. <laughs> lots and lots to do. There's probably gonna have to be a blue one as well, whether you like it or not. 
Um, well, we weren't gonna keep that wall color marshmallow. <laughs> Guys, come on. I wasn't gonna have it be purple. I have all the walls are kind of funky because I was just using them to help mark out the rooms, okay? Um, the walls were all just there to help mark out which room was which. They were never gonna stay that color. Um, okay. I think that your sims can still get through there. I hope that your sims can still get through there. Hmm. That's pretty too. And then... Let's get some nice lighting as well. You love purple walls though? Well, we can use purple! We will have to use purple, I, I assume. <laughs> it's just that we have we have so many that we have to furnish, so <laughs> we have to really keep that in mind, right? Like, like let's um, let's uh, give ourselves some grace here. We can't do a cat lady apartment either because this is uh, just with the base game, so we don't have any cats. We have a cat, but not many more cats than that. That's the only cat here today. <laughs> Our plan for a basement? We do have a small basement, and, and the goal there with the basement is that we were sort of picturing um, that we would eventually put in the basement um, whatever... We don't know how it's gonna work really yet, but we're assuming that we're gonna wanna have like the utility stuff, like the water heater and things from the trailer. Um, so we're, we're sort of prepping uh, to have the water heater and stuff from the trailer in the basement. Can I put it on the gallery? Yeah, I will. I put all my bills in the gallery, just not yet, because we're gonna hold off until it's done before we do that. Which I'm sure you understand. Um, okay. Isn't there cat statues in base game? Not really. There's not as much stuff in the base game as you might think, unfortunately with stuff like that. Um, there might be some of those weird fake cats in debug, but I don't really want to use weird fake cats. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. This is kind of, yikes, you know? These are like starter apartments. Yeah, I think that some of them kind of will be and others will try and make a little bit nicer. It will kind of, it'll kind of depend. Um, add and paint and Wisco and Henny and K and color and high quality names for the subs. Again, this is just one of, of literally 12, 12 that we have to furnish. So it's going to be all right. <laughs> it, it will have, um, plenty of, uh, pretty colors and, and, um, different stuff in there. Okay. I don't know about this rest of this room. I'm gonna try and fix the bedrooms though. Let's do the kids room. I think in this kids room, I might try and put like two beds. Cause this is kind of a big place. Maybe in one of the other ones. Well, I'll, I guess like that's the thing, right? Maybe the other one could have like stuff for babies. It's just hard because this place is so small. Oh, why maybe they don't want to have two beds. Maybe it's just one bed. Do I uninstall my packs for this? I, I did uninstall my packs um, for this just to make it, well, I didn't uninstall them. I just disabled them. It's a little bit easier than that. To disable them is less of a ordeal than uninstalling completely. Uh, but I did disable them for this just to make it a little bit more obvious what is base game and what isn't. Um, and then we don't have to worry about the game constantly uh, getting rid of our filters and stuff. There are bunk beds in the base game if we wanted to use bunk beds. Um, we could do that. Kind of changes the color scheme a little bit, but we can do bunk beds. I actually like the yellow and blue, to be honest. Okay. Interesting. Should I try and fit some fun colors in here? Maybe. That could be a cute yellow. Um, okay, cool. I feel better about this already. I think. You know what? That kind of looks good with the bed. Like the, the colors there. 
with the blue and the yellow. Maybe that works. I think I might give us like a little dresser thing. I'll make that yellow. Um, perhaps a little, no, no, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a couple pictures over here. These could come in like, yikes. I don't know about the color. That seems okay. We're gonna have to, if we're gonna decorate this much in this room, I might wanna go back and change some of the living room to be a bit more full. But we'll see how it goes. It's weird hearing Sims 4 music, yeah. <laughs> we don't normally play Sims 4 music, so it is kind of jarring, isn't it? To have it on this on right now, on the stream. Um, okay. What other sorts of things could these kids maybe have? This bookshelf might be nice. Maybe I'll put Blarfy over there with the bookshelf. Okay. Um, and then, or well, what about, is there any of the other ones that maybe are better? Because some of these come in like good colors for this. Sims for music is all you know. Yeah, well, the thing, the joke that people are making is just that um, I play with uh, the, I only on stream really play the Sims 2 soundtrack. I like mute the Sims 4 music and then play the Sims 2 soundtrack. Um, so people are kind of joking about how they're not used to hearing Sims 4 music on my stream. <laughs> um, okay. That's nice. Got some good options in there. Maybe I'll give them like a little mirror. Okay. Isn't Sims for Music copyrighted? Well, it all is, but they're not gonna strike me because I'm playing the game. <laughs> uh, like they, you don't really get strikes for those things. It would be really, really wild and ridiculous if they like struck me for the music when I'm literally playing The Sims 4. Does that make sense? Um, the, the, maybe what you're thinking of is like the radio music, um, like the, the music that plays off the radios in game. Um, and that will get you a strike. And that's not necessarily because of The Sims 4. That's because it's like a real life artist song. So it's like, a, to give an example of like one that you might be familiar with is like the Katy Perry Simlish songs. It's like um, a really popular Katy Perry song that just happens to have a Simlish cover of it, but it has the same music. It's just like the lyrics are different and Katy recorded it too. And so like you'll get a copyright strike for playing that on your stream. Um, cause you're playing a Katy Perry song and Katy Perry's music, like record label will strike you real fast and they won't even feel bad about it. Um, but you, you won't get a strike really for like the regular Sims music, the background music. So, um, okay. I don't really like that to be honest. Maybe I'll play I'll get like a, I don't know. This could be pretty. It's just so tight is the problem. You have to put it in the corner. I don't really think I like that that much. Okay. So your Sims have never listened to the radio? Yeah, I don't, I don't play the, the radio in game ever in my videos or streams. Um. I, I usually have it muted. So that's like when I was, uh, I'm thinking back to when we played with Horse Ranch. Um, obviously one of like the new features of Horse Ranch was like the square dancing and stuff. Um, and I would be like showing it off on stream and my chat would be like, oh my God, this is so weird and awkward. And I have to remind them like, it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit less bad because normally, normally there would be music playing. <laughs> There's just not any music playing in my game because I haven't muted. <laughs> uh, the radio stations are kind of fun though. Maybe I'll actually, maybe I'll swap this and I'll put the, the bed in that corner maybe is better. Oh, I think I like that better. Maybe I'll get like three of these. Yeah, the Sims are like dancing to music that no one in chat can hear. <laughs> 
And this seems kind of weird. Um, but it isn't too bad. Okay. Let's get maybe like a... Shall we use a desk? Maybe I won't have them have that, but we'll do this. I think it'd be nice to have a desk. Nothing wrong with dancing to no music. I agree, dance if you want to. But what I will say is, it does it does seem kind of weird on stream. It definitely feels kind of weird on stream when there's no music playing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give them a computer in here. That would be really nice to have, I think. Um, maybe like a full length mirror over there. Maybe we get a little piece of art. I don't know. Okay. Am I gonna use maybe like the... This is the problem. I wanna have... I don't know. Maybe like a darker color. This room is quite bland. Is the music louder than usual? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is it bad? Oops, switch the song. This is Sims 4 music, Crystal. It's just Sims 4 music that we're listening to right now. Um, yikes, that looks bad. No. I don't think I can use that in green. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe I could do like this one sized down or something, just so we have something, but it's not, I don't know. A couple different wood tones too. Now the music is extremely quiet. <laughs> now we're on a very quiet part of the soundtrack at the moment. It's kind of alarming, the change. You can't even hear it. It'll get louder. Okay, what else can we add into this area to make it seem more full? Some books will probably be good. I might give them like a little something like that. I don't know, maybe we get something on the wall too. Something like that right there. Oh, I could probably, if I really wanted to, we could probably do cabinets like around the corner. Maybe that's an impressive addition, I don't know. Oh, we should do a fire alarm as well. Good to have fire alarms in these places. <laughs> Guitar. Oh, I like that idea. That's cute. They can, maybe this sim is like a musician. I might want to redo that and have like a, maybe we'll do the musician thing again later and have more music stuff in another one of the units. We could also, if we really wanted to, I could like make the kitchen even smaller because then we can move this over. And that might be better because it's, I don't know. What do you, well, no, I, I think I actually prefer the extra counter. I think it's nice to have the extra counter. I, I know it looks kind of weird, but I think it's fun how it looks weird. Like, I kind of like it. Even if weird, I think it's better. I don't know. Sorry, everyone just said they didn't like it or it looked better without it and then I put it back, but. Um, okay. Let's call that one done for now, just because we have to do 12, so we need to be a little bit less, you know, a little bit less dramatic about the layouts in here. <laughs> that would be beneficial to us. <laughs> if we simply calmed down a little bit, that would be great. Okay, 
Um, I'm gonna use maybe like a... I think I want to give this sim more of like an entertaining space. Like I'm gonna give them some more chairs. Maybe I'll base it on the rug. Do one for a student? Maybe. I'm kind of trying to be very generic about what we put into these because I want them to be like really easily usable for the average Sims player when they like download the lot and start playing in this apartment building. I want like every single one of these to be really, really easy to just fit your Sims into and go. Like move in ready. Um, most Sims will like them. Like I'm not trying to infuse that much personality, which might seem like kind of a strange thing to, to do and say, but the idea is just to make it like as usable as possible for as many sims as possible. Um, and so for that reason, like almost intentionally making it kind of generic is, is the goal. So um, I think it makes sense when you think about it, like for, for what our goal is, like and what how this is supposed to be for like a lot of sims and stuff. Um, I don't know. Okay. That's not too bad. I could maybe even get like a desk or something. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my God, that's kind of ugly, almost in a fun way. I've never used that. I never, ever, ever use that. <laughs> Should we do it? Should we do it? I think that seems like fun. Nice, okay. Okay, I think that's cool. Maybe this sim has a coffee maker. Yeah, sims can use the end piece of a counter for cooking. Um, they can also use corner pieces. People sometimes ask me like, are you sure they can use the corner? Yeah, they can. Um, so they'll be able to cook in this corner um, and they can cook on this one too. They're a little bit better at it than you might realize. Um, I don't always give them a lot of credit, but they're not the worst. So, did I save? No, not since the last apartment. Good call. Okay. Yeah, Cloudberry, I put a <laughs> I put a shrimp emoji on on the cat cam cuz people ask uh which cat it is like constantly, which is fine. Like it's a it's a good question, but people ask which cat it is constantly, so I put a shrimp icon on the cat cam. So it would be really obvious that it was shrimp. <laughs> but people still ask, they don't see it or notice it. But once you notice it, you're like, "Oh, shrimp." Um, but yeah, that's why I have that there. <laughs> to help people know which one it is. Um, do I get confused which cat it is? No, not, not really, to be honest. Um, I, I guess, um, I'm around them a lot more than you are, like, obviously in real life and stuff. Um, and they're not similar at all. <laughs> Um, they're both like little black void cats, but this one is giant and Sunny is small. So they're, when they're around, you're like, oh yeah, that's very clear which one is which. <laughs> There's a significant size difference. Um, and their like head shapes are quite different too. He's got a giant head. Um, which makes it pretty, pretty obvious that that one's shrimp when you see him. Um, like just around and in the house and stuff. Um. So, and he has, he has one white whisker as well, which sometimes is hard to tell for some of you, but, uh, is pretty obvious when I look at him. So, okay. I like that tile. I think that's pretty cute. Actually. I think we need another light in here. Maybe I'll steal this light. Okay. That's pretty good. Nice little entryway. There is some, um, maybe we could get like a little welcome mat or something, just so we can try and make this entrance seem more like an entrance. Um, and then down here, yeah, yikes, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I give them like a, a sort of office situation. Can I get a little orange looking chair, perhaps? Probably not, because this orange is kind of ugly. I don't know. 
these are kind of cute, but still a different vibe. So I don't know if it's good or not. That one actually kind of matches. Would you guys be so mad at me if I used that in here? I, I think I like it. I think it like looks good, genuinely. It sparks joy. It's fun to have a excuse to use like an item in a way that maybe it wasn't intended as well. So I think that's nice. Um, okay. Shrimp looks so comfortable over there. I know, he's totally asleep. <laughs> Should I touch him? Oh, sorry, I didn't even touch him. Sorry, Shrimp, I didn't mean to wake you. Okay, well, that's proof that he's alive. <laughs> I swear, it's not a picture, it's a camera. I didn't touch him, I'm sorry. Even just moving my chair woke him up, so that's my bad. I'll never do it again, I'm sorry. I'm terrible. Um, ooh, this is kind of a nice picture. Maybe I could put that over there. Okay, what if, oh, what if we did shelves? We could do like some custom shelf units above this. Maybe I'll, oh, that doesn't look that good though, does it? I don't know. Is Sunny nearby? No, Sunny's in uh, Dan's room with him right now. Is Dan not streaming? I don't think he is. Dan, um, he's been playing a lot of games with uh, his friends from back home the past few days, which is kind of cute, I think. Um, so Dan, I think he's probably still playing. It's hard to find time because the time difference is so bad. Um, so it's nice they're getting a chance to play, but. I think they're playing Fortnite <laughs> right now, which is funny because Dan doesn't even like Fortnite that much, but it's like one of those where it's like, well, I'd rather, I want to like, you know, hang out with everybody, so. Um, who is Dan? I'm new. Oh, he's my husband. He's, um, the context of this uh, is that he's British. He moved here uh, because of me to the US a couple of years ago. So all of his friends back home are in England, um, far away. So when, when they like find time uh, to play games together and stuff, it's pretty nice because they're far away and um, it's hard to, to organize that kind of thing sometimes. Um, okay, here's an idea. I wanna get, I think what I'm gonna do in this unit, cause I could probably fit a crib in here if I tried. What if we gave them like a little crib for a little baby and a double bed? So they like, the, they share the room with the baby and then what if we put like a little um, high chair out here for the baby as well? Yeah, it's not really about the game as much as it is about like who you're playing with. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's nice to get to play with your friends when you don't get to see them that often, so. Um, well, it's not that bad, but it is five hours, Panda. So like, you know, it, it becomes very late for them very early for us. <laughs> um, and it's hard to find a time that works when they're like during the week and stuff, obviously, um, because they can't stay up because they have work and everything. Um, and then when it's fine for them to play, like now, usually Dan is streaming, so. Um, it's only five hours though to, from here to the UK. Um, okay, so in this room, I don't know if I like that anymore. I might have to come back to it, we'll see. In here, um, and the other problem is that uh, one of his friends uh, lives in Mexico now, um, and he's an hour behind us, so just hard, you know. Okay, I think that I think that that still works. Perhaps, depending on how we do it. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe the baby crib can be that color. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, ooh, the next apartment, I'm gonna use the leaf wallpaper. I've decided, not in this one, because I don't think it's gonna match, but in the next one I will. The desk is sticking out of the wall. Oh, oops, it is. Just a bit further back, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> just scoot that a little bit more back. Um, okay. Let's see about a rug, too. Do you guys think that... Okay, that probably won't work with this wallpaper, but if I had a different wallpaper, maybe we can make that work. I don't know. The apartment's color theme? Um... Kinda. We're trying to make them all very different, mostly, is sort of the situation. I, I just want them all to be quite different, so it's very obvious that they're separate units and stuff. Um, could do the sunset one. I don't know if I like the sunset one. Maybe I'm being too picky, but I don't know if I like that one. Oh my god, that's kind of... It's kind of a little bit ick, I must say. Make a gothic apartment. That, we, we could try something like that. It's gonna have all white doors still, so that's something to consider, I guess, but... We'll see about it. Um, maybe rearrange the layout of some of these? Well, they are, they are a little different. You know, all the layouts are kind of different from each other, so... Um, they're not identical layouts on all the floors. Um, so that helps from the beginning. Um, okay. I say this with love, you guys, but I think that as a, as a group, we need to, to really, like, tone it down about the worries of these individual apartments, because we have to do literally 12 of them. So if we, if we keep up the way that we're going, we are never gonna finish. <laughs> so, so collectively, we need to make a choice to start, like, honestly going quicker <laughs> like otherwise we are doomed completely doomed should i give them like some blinds in here i don't know if i like that i'm tempted to use the same rug again because i really like the i know i used it out there but i like the color scheme on this a bit better than the other one Um, I think the blinds are kind of realistic. I don't really like these particular blinds, though. I don't like most of them, in fact. So that's a problem. I don't know. They come so far off the wall. I think that's the main issue. <sighs> There's really not as many, like options as you think there are <laughs> you know like when you go to start furnishing these things you realize that actually we don't have that many swatches and stuff and again we wanted it to be kind of simple in here so we have to like keep that in mind as we're doing this we were we were trying to make it simple because we wanted it to be like easy for your sims like any of your sims to come live here and have it be their apartment you know forgot a trash can in the other apartment no i didn't we've got one right there um, there's some lovely CC blinds. Oh yeah, well there's lovely, there's lovely custom content everywhere. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, um, we are playing The Sims 4 base game. Okay, maybe I can try and get some little toys for the infant. That might be nice. Maybe I'll put like one of these little infant mats. Oh, that might be, actually, that might be kind of cute for out here, instead of the high chair. And we could put a couple toys on it. I don't know. High chairs are annoying, I don't like to use them, so... Do you need to have dressers? No, you don't technically need to have a dresser. I, guys, I'm gonna call this one. We have to move on or else we're never gonna finish. We have literally 12 of them to do. <laughs> okay, I wanted to do the leaf wallpaper next, didn't I? So let's do that in here. We gotta be, we have to be like relatively quick about this. We need to be smart with our, with our plans. Okay. Um, this one I have, oh no, you know what? Let's do leaf apartment up here because they have the green already. <laughs> 
in this bathroom. Let's keep it up. Let's use the let's use this one. Um, yuck. Okay. Well, honestly, let's just do that. We'll go to the top floor instead for some reason. Isn't that too many for the new pack? Yes, but they said there's a cheat to increase it, so I think it'll be fine. Um, okay, I don't like that. Use this more. No. I don't know. Should we go like really green with this? Probably not, that's ugly too. The window glitch? Yeah, I know, Odin. They're they're gonna glitch probably a lot, so we just need to we need to accept that <laughs> and and just fix it as we encounter them. Uh, like you know, if I'm in the room, we can mess with it, but it's it's okay if the windows glitch. They just will. Um, you think a white bed? Oh, really? I was gonna try to really go all out with the green. We could do something different if you want. Um. We can try something like this, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, we are gonna be here forever. I just, I just know it. We're never gonna be done with this build. Yikes. Okay, that kind of lightens things up a little bit in here. I guess I could do... No, I think I like the colors that I have there. Um, do you come in like that sort of horrible orangey color? You do. Unless we wanted to try and make it like pink. And we try and go for like green and pink vibes instead on purpose. Maybe green and pink is better. Maybe we do green and pink intentionally. Okay, that maybe is too much. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do you want to finish it today? Oh, that that is the, the dream and the goal, yes, is to finish it today. Um, I would really, really, really like to finish it today, yes. Um, okay. Those, honestly, not too bad above that. Nothing wrong with a maximalist sim. Well, okay, so again, this is the problem, right? Like, when we're building these, I'm kind of intentionally trying to be a, a bit generic with the vibes that we pick, because I know that we're gonna sort of like fill in literally random sims into this. Like, when you actually play with the apartment pack, we're not gonna have the ability to be picking and choosing which specific sims come and live here based on their style. Like the, it, they're, they're gonna be kind of like randomly filled by tenants. Um, and so we wanna make sure that like these apartments will be nice for the average sim. <laughs> Um, Olivia, thanks for the 39 months, and, and Vita, Latina, and Sarah, and PMR, and Midnight, and Dale, and Amanda, and Gladys, and Kaysa, thank you so much, and Aubrey, or Auburn, sorry, hi, thank you for the raid. Um, anyway, they're, they're still unique and stuff, but they're not, like, I don't know, they're not gonna be too detailed, I guess, is kind of what I'm trying to warn you. I'm gonna use these, I think. Imagine Agnes or Greg applying to live in your building. <laughs> oh, I can't think of anything worse. Um, okay, I had, at one point, I had done the kitchens kind of along a back wall. I don't know if I want to do that, really, but it might be interesting. It's definitely different to do it like that. So maybe this could be cool. Um, where does the door go? Oh. Well, what, okay, hold on. This is a sort of change in plans, right? But what if we had the kitchen down this way? And the living room would- no. Oh god. 
Oh, let's get him a ceiling fan. Um, so we can't specify who lives in an apartment if we aren't landlord. Well, I don't know that, Emmy. <laughs> Emma, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know that. What I'm saying is, you're when you're playing as the landlord, you're you're gonna be filling in random people, and you're you're gonna have to build it first and then fill in the people. And also, there is no people right now; it's empty. <laughs> so we're trying to make it kind of fitting for a lot of different types of Sims. Like like I'm not. You guys are really misunderstanding and twisting my words here. <laughs> I'm not like spilling some secret about the game. I'm just, this is just how it works. It's how The Sims works. Like it's how when they build default buildings for like a default starter home, they're trying to make it apply to a lot of different people because a lot of people are gonna live there, you know? Um, and you aren't sure, we don't know who's gonna live there. So we're trying to make it work for everybody. Um, we're making move-in ready apartments. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why this isn't like, I just want it to work for a lot of Sims. It's also the base game, so. Oh boy, okay. Um, I think, this is not really, hold on. I have an idea. I'm gonna try and make this like, go around the corner, I think. Um. I don't know if this is a good idea or not with like how apartments work. That first of all is a terrible idea. Okay. Um, yeah, that's an absolutely horrendous idea with how this works. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, okay, never mind. It has to just go back to how it was. We had him we had him in a good position before, like. Sometimes you just have to stick to what you have. Um, okay. You're fine, Emma. I just, I really don't want people to take my words and be like, she's telling us some secret about the game. The game is horrible. Lil Simsy said this thing. And it's like, not what I said. So I just panicked a little bit there. I had to make sure we were on the same page. Cause you know how the internet can be. Um, okay. Um. We can do bigger, because these are, the ceilings are taller, so we can have cabinets higher up over here, which will be nice too. Um, okay, there we go. Scoot that just a smidge. Um, and then in this area, should we do like, no, that's absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Never mind. It could be more plain than that. I I think that would be nice. We'll get some little tile there. Okay, I wanted to have a ceiling fan just for fun because I don't usually use those. Um, and then there's not really a lot of pastel pinks, so that's the next problem. We do have a couple options, but that doesn't like. It doesn't look good. This is gonna be a process trying to make this, I fear. Okay, we'll see. I don't know. I'm trying a few different things. <laughs> we'll, we'll experiment a little bit, shall we? Do we really need a couch? You know what, Christine, maybe not. Maybe they don't need a couch. Okay, this is nice, because that kind of has, like, it's, like, beige, but, but, like, in a light pink sort of way. Or, like, a dusty pink sort of way, at the very least. There's a pastel green swatch of that rug. Yeah, I know there is, but I use that a lot. So I was kind of trying to go for more vibrant, just based on, like, this. Does that make sense? Um, I was sort of going, going all out on purpose. <laughs> um, maybe I could put the dining table, like... Okay, maybe they have less of a... I don't know. Scoot that over. Maybe I give them a desk over here instead. I don't know. Um... 
Maybe I use that pink there. And then we do green chairs at this. I don't know. Easel might be nice. We could do an easel in a different one of the apartments. I, I'm really trying to like do different stuff in all of them. I think this looks disgusting. <laughs> oh God. I think it, guys, I think it looks bad. Okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. You liked the pink chairs? Yeah, I'm trying to pull the, the green elsewhere though. Cause we have, we need to have like the green throughout the house and the pink throughout the house. We need to do both, kind of. I think this sim's gonna have like one of the nicer apartments. So they're gonna have like a fancier TV. Maybe the green and the rug is too aggressive. Yeah, but look at this. Look what we're trying to match. They have a floral wallpaper everywhere. So I think aggressive is kind of the way. Hanging plants everywhere? Mm, base game. No hanging plants. No hanging plants, unfortunately. We're, we're sort of limited in that sense. Um... Okay, they can have some green curtains. I like this wallpaper. I don't know if I like this wallpaper for what I'm doing in here. What if they had green and pink chairs? Do you think I could get them like a set of four chairs? Probably not. Debug hanging planters. They look kind of weird inside. It's not, it's not as good as you think. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> Um, I've, I've really, really, really tried. It doesn't really work as well as you want it to, or at least as well as I want it to, I should say. Um, they're, they're gonna, like, the lighting's gonna glitch on them inside, so. It's very annoying, but. Um, we might have to get, like, a different sort of wallpaper for this to not look horrible. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe, maybe, maybe we go for, like, more of a pink on the walls. And then, or, I mean, they have also, like, lighter greens, but we could go for more of a pink on the walls and then... No, I hate that. I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to do that. Let's do the lighter green and we'll get more pink decor somehow. Somehow, some way. I don't know. Is it Sam I shoe? No, no, no. This is just Willow Creek. We're we're building some base game apartments in Willow Creek right now with the intention of being able to um, use this to play with the pack when the pack comes out. We don't have the pack yet. We're just playing with the base game. Um. Okay. That's honestly not even that bad. You hate the carpet. Oh, yikes. Maybe we do pink curtains then, like we had in the other room, if we have the green wall. I do think that this is kind of ugly. Maybe the cabinets do need to be different. One that has like more tile or something. Are there are trash chutes on each floor. No, there are not. <laughs> You gotta go all the way down, all the way down if you've got trash to, to take out. So. Um, I'm not gonna change that though, probably. Okay. Um, you get that there, you put that there, you put that there. No, you know what? Maybe I'll put the full one and I'll get, cause I like, I like this one better. I have to alt place it, but it looks cuter to me. Are each a certain budget? No, this one is, honestly, this one is kind of like the more expensive one. Maybe I'll give them some nicer stuff too. This one is kind of more expensive because they have like the fancy TV and the fancy computer. So I might, I might up their interior situation really fast, but Okay, 
12 apartments. Yeah, <laughs> 12 apartments. Okay, we can go back down now to the previous floor. Um, let's, let's get a move on. Um, no, they can cook in the corner, Summer Girl. They can cook in the corner. Um, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna base this next unit off of like this rug, I've decided. Unless, maybe I should do that one up here, because this one's smaller and has a weirder layout. This one might be better for a bigger rug, because they have probably more space. The most space that we've had so far for, like, a, a bigger living room. We have a little bit more space to work with in here. In this one. So this might be kind of nice, to have something like this. And then we have their kitchen in this corner. And maybe a small dining table there. Okay, um, do we paint the hallways yet? Yeah, they're all, the hallways are finished. They're gonna just be white because there's so much, like, so many layers to it all. So, not obsessed with that. Maybe we could get a different, that's in an annoying space too, but that's okay. Um, Maybe this one can be the artist apartment that we talked about. What do you guys think about that? Whoa, hot pink. No, that looks bad. I actually like the blue, to be completely honest with you. I kind of like the blue with the color of flooring that we have. Um, there's something about it that I'm like really enjoying. Um, okay, maybe I'll scoot that over a bit. Ooh, that's sort of ugly. Okay. Friendly, Ashley, worst girl, thank you for the subs. Hmm. Also, I saw someone ask if that's shrimp or sunny. That one's shrimp. I put a little shrimp emoji on the camera, um, in case you forget. <laughs> if that makes it more obvious, maybe. Um, okay. I'm gonna decorate this place. I don't know, maybe it won't be the artist's apartment. The artist might have to live upstairs. Maybe the artist lives in here in this like colorful one or maybe the artist lives over here. The artist is gonna live over there. I've decided. This one is gonna belong to a musician. I know we had a guitar and one of the downstairs ones, but oh, they can't have a grand piano though. If we were playing with the other packs, they could have a little piano over here. Unfortunately, we're not playing with the other packs, so there is no other piano for them to have. Like one of those little ones. Musician and painter fall in love. See, that's cute. I like that, I like that. That's a good vibe. Um, We need sort of like a in my opinion, icky-ish, orange-ish toned thing. Okay. That's gonna go like this. And then we'll do the stove there. Maybe they can have nicer ones in this one too. There's a variety of different kinds of stoves and fridges in this house. Oh, that bothers me extremely. That sink being on the end there. I want it to be here, but it won't fit. Fun build challenge to do someday where we build apartments, but each apartment's a different random pack. I've actually thought about that. I thought it would be kind of fun to do that. Um, I'd rather like do that once the, you know, obviously once the pack comes out, like you said, but I actually have thought about doing something like that. Um. I mean, it is possible to make this functional and quite small. Maybe I'll just give them two chairs though. I don't know. I need something like plain, 
remember to save. Yeah, I'll save. Hold on. Just give me a sec. Just give me a sec. Okay. We haven't saved in a bit. Not so berry apartments would be fun. Yeah, there's so many ideas, you know, because there's so, so many things and, and units and stuff. Um... Honestly, kind of like that. I think that's kind of cute. Okay. Be like one building and it's got 10 apartments and they're all like the different not so berry generations. <laughs> Isn't that like a fun idea? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna write that down too because I don't, I kind of didn't even think about that. Not so berry apartments. Um, okay. Sorry, I clicked off the game and my music stopped. Write that down, write that down. Okay. Um, oh, I sort of like despise this like orangish color. That's why I never use it. I think it's fun to use stuff that you don't like though. There's something kind of nice about it when you, when you throw in some like swatches of things that you actually secretly hate. It almost looks good. Um. Okay, I'll put the guitar over here in the corner. Me and the orange wood are mortal enemies. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the orange wood. This is cool though. We can get some like fun musician type artwork because we decided the Sim's gonna be a musician. And there's a lot of art that sort of fits that vibe, so. Okay. Um... Cool. Good stuff. Maybe over here, I will give them some tile. Yeah, there's like a, a really ridiculous amount of music related artwork in the base game. You kind of forget about it and then all of a sudden you go to start building and it's like, oh, everything here is music. <laughs> Literally everything in the base game is music related. <laughs> it's all over the place. Um, okay. I'll give them some paper towels, how about that? Kind of sneak them in there. Um, there we go. Oh, look, their bathroom is like blue already. <laughs> that works really well, actually. That's good. Um, is this song that it's playing me right now a um, lullaby? Maybe I will scoop this over. I just like, it bothers me so much with where the window is. Well, that's nice. It's trying, the game's trying to put us to sleep, chat. <laughs> okay, that, those blue curtains are a lot. I kind of like it though. It's sort of fun doing stuff that's like almost a little bit ugly. I'm like trying to imagine if they were to build official base game apartments, what would they be like? <laughs> I kind of like how some of them are ugly. Um, I don't know. Is that bad of me to say? I'm not sure. It's fun to have something different going on. Oh wait, maybe use like, yikes, that's so much the same vibe. Try that. Hmm. Okay. Good start. Let's do the bedroom now. Maybe same wallpaper again. There is, from the base game, like, one of these beds might be good. I used to use, like, one of these all the time. Maybe I'll try this one. I actually kind of hate that. Just a little, a little ugly, if I must say, but that's okay. I'm gonna use different colored wood on these nightstands too. Are we live until um, Nick? I usually stream till about seven, so um, that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll do today as well. Maybe they have like a nice, fancy. Reminds me of betting that someone's mom would buy them before they go to college. <laughs> 
<laughs> it kind of does, though. I, I can see that. Should we try this? Like, flip it around a little bit? Maybe I will make these darker wood. I don't know. What time is it for me now? Uh, it's five. I usually stream for about three hours every day. Um, and it's been one. So... Okay, there's not enough orange happening in here. We need to, like, really step up the orange game. Okay. It's the Trunks Dresser base game. Oh, the little, like... Um, I don't know if you're thinking of, like, a literal dresser. There isn't a literal dresser, but there is this, like, Trunks thing. It's a TV stand in-game. So we could use that. You're probably thinking of, like, the- maybe one of the trunk things from, like, um, there's, like, trunks from on a couple of the packs. Maybe Realm of Magic is the one that I'm picturing? I don't know. Um, okay. City Living has some stuff like that, too. Maybe it's Werewolves. Werewolves has a dresser. That's the one. I knew it was one of those packs. <laughs> werewolves. Werewolves is the one. Okay, maybe I'll put that over there. I like the fancy art. I think that's nice. It's a lovely touch. <laughs> cupcake machine. <laughs> we have to take up an entire apartment just to put a cupcake machine in. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> totally reasonable thing to do. Not at all a waste of space or anything. Okay, that is very blue and orange. I kind of like it though. Maybe I'll give them a violin. I don't know. Probably just like a regular violin though, and not a 15,000 simoleon violin. Just a thought. Why don't they have a plain wooden one that is not... A million dollars. Oh, a radio! That's a fun idea. Oh my gosh. Let's get like the jukebox. Because this sim is supposed to be into music. That's really cute. Maybe they can have a um, couple music related things. Okay. So that's that one. This one's gonna belong to an artist, right? I don't know. Uh, it's Naya and, and Lavender, thank you for the subs. Uh, LMA, thank you for saying that. Uh, and Faye and Serena and Turtles and Max and Cassidy, thanks everybody. Um, there's a stack of CDs too. Oh, I guess that's true. We can put that in there. That'd be nice. Oh, maybe I'll put it on the shelf so we have some more stuff. I need to move the violin again. Artist and musician apartment love story. Yeah, we were kind of talking, we were kind of joking about that too. Um, maybe, so one of these is gonna have to be like, I might change this bathroom vibe to be honest. Um, this artist would probs not have a brown bathroom either. So I might have to change that again too. Um, unless we want to use like, this rug for this artist. I think I'm gonna make their floors darker because I want them to match the, um... let me get the easel stuff first because that's what's most important. So we want to have this thing. Oh, we should have put like gym equipment in one of them. Maybe next door we can do that. Hey Chung, thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, okay, let's see. I want to have a wallpaper that kind of matches one of the colors on this. And even if that means it has to be like, that is cute. I honestly really like that. Oh my goodness, this kitchen has like a really nice setup going on. Okay. This is a, a nice sized apartment. 
Oh, Felix, that's not new. This is like the rug that you're talking about, this one, this is from like the deluxe version of the game. Um, so maybe not, not everybody will have it, I think. It's part of deluxe. Maybe every chair is a different color. Yeah, that would be cute. We could do something like that, probably. Maybe I can fit in like, I don't know. Well, we have some options for this. It's gonna be good, I think. Okay, I don't know. Kitchen setup. Maybe they have like a darker. Hmm. I'm gonna put the fridge right here. Nice floral painted chairs. Oh, those will be cute. I might have to change the color of these cabinets and floors then. But you're right, there's like, um, these chairs might be kind of fun to use like different swatches of. Or even if we just picked one of the swatches instead of having them be all different. Let me see. Like that one kind of matches, I guess the default one. That's boring, but <laughs> um, that kind of matches. So it might be fun to use. Like, wouldn't that be kind of cute if we did that? I think it needs to be a smaller table. Um, that probably is not, that doesn't make any sense to have that one. Maybe I'll just do the plane like this. Oh my God, mess, absolute mess. Okay, something like that. And then we'll have like, Probably right here will be where the stove goes. And there'll be a little sink. I think I like that. I think this is a good example of like a time where it would be nicer to have a lighter color though. So maybe I'll switch to like lighter floors again. We had talked about that originally anyway. It will look better with the table. No purple cabinets? No, I think that I'd rather do, um, Something a little bit simpler. I don't know if I want to use these. Like these are kind of, they're cute, but I also feel like not, none of the other apartments have this. And then I'm gonna go for like a lot of wood and like rustic color things. So I'm kind of leaning towards keeping it a bit simpler with the cabinetry, just cause there is gonna be a lot of wood in here. There kind of has to be, whether we like it or not. Um, okay. Maybe we pick a more exciting colored tile. Or like one of, um, even if we did it with white, that one's kind of fun because it's like sparkly. <laughs> sparkly is good. Where, hold on, I have the column somewhere. Okay, let's get a trash can. You used that rug and couch combo in the shell? Oh, did you? That's good. That means people like it. <laughs> Sarah, thank you for the eight months. Go with the 24 months. And Shay, thank you for the resub too. Um, okay. Watching you play The Sims makes me want to play too, but when I open the game, I get bored. You know what is so funny about that? That's how I feel about City Skylines. Not so much about like getting bored. I don't think I get bored necessarily of City Skylines. I just feel like I'm bad at it. So I get frustrated and then um, kind of like lose the, the will to play. But if it makes you feel any better, I feel very similarly to you. <laughs> I, I really, really relate to that feeling because um, I sort of have the same feeling about City Skylines. I watch so many YouTubers play it, but when I try and play it myself, I feel like I do a terrible job and then I get frustrated and then stop. Um, okay, let's see. I don't know about that actually, to be honest. Um, maybe I should swap it around to have it more like this because that might give me a little bit more space 
Plus then it's really different from this layout. But this will give me a little bit more space to have like the canvas rack and stuff like that. Um, oh, yikes. Okay, that actually takes up like all the space. <laughs> Can I size it down? What if that's just there, kind of like in the corner and the easel on the other side? Okay, there's nowhere to walk. So that's maybe bad. The other thought that I had was to do the easel over here, kind of in the window, which maybe is better for them with this particular setup because that means that they can like look out the window while they're painting and stuff. Okay, maybe this is better. Keep that small so it's still easy to walk around in. Um this was what this was the original thought I had and it seems like it is better, so maybe I should have just stuck to it. <laughs> Yeah, the painting items are career unlocks, yeah. You unlock them from the artist's career in The Sims 4. Um, which kind of, kind of makes sense given they are artist items and stuff. Um, oh, did Shrimp move? Hi, Shrimpy! Hello! Hi, Shrimp! You wanna say hi to everybody? No? Okay, sorry I touched you. I just had to. It's really hard not to. Do you see his white whisker? The one white whisker. All his whiskers are black, so you can't see him, but you can see his one white whisker. <laughs> Only one that's visible is the one white whisker. <laughs> He's funny. Um, okay. I guess I will use that here. Maybe this sim will have, like... Oh, how about that? I never used that thing. That actually is terrible because the lighting is, like, so... Ick on it. Um... Maybe I'll put this over here, kind of behind those. You hope it never falls out. I know, me too. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad if he ever loses his white whisker. A lot of black cats have like one single white whisker as a baby. It's not like that uncommon, but he is five months old now and he still has it. So that's a good sign. Cause like my friend's cat, my friend's cat had one single white whisker and, and theirs fell out like, way sooner than this. So, cross your fingers, everybody. No, it might go away someday, but for now, we're thriving. Unmatched chairs, maybe? We actually did talk about doing unmatched chairs. Um, we were kind of looking at some of them. I don't know if it looks that good, though, in reality. Yours kept theirs, four years strong. Oh, that's such a good sign. That is such a good sign. Um, one of my friends has an eight-year-old cat that still has theirs too. I really want him to keep it though. I just think it's so funny looking and so cute. Calling it funny looking is mean. I don't mean it in like a mean way. <laughs> I mean like it's funny looking in a good way and I like it so I don't want it to go away. I didn't mean to be like, he's my cat's so funny looking. I'm sorry, shrimp. You're so cute. What about unmatched style? Yeah, I mean, that's an idea. Maybe when we copy this apartment over, because we are gonna build, we're gonna like have to do the other side of 12 apartments. Um, we can do like some apartments that have mismatched chair styles in there, perhaps. Um, obviously guys, again, just keeping in mind the fact that um, this, this place is 12 units and we've not even finished six. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, there's two buildings. There's an exact copy of this building over there. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, we, we really have to, to get a move on. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Maybe they can have some sparkly wallpaper in here. Um... I put some lighting in the courtyard. There are lights in the courtyard. These are lights. Um, I don't like that wall. We'll have to see how this goes. I think I want a rug also underneath this. So that's not ideal. Should I try that? Like a little polka dot rug? Hmm. 
Hmm, that's kind of maybe not ideal. Can I use that in here? Oh good, it takes up the whole room. You know what? Maybe it taking up the whole room is fun though. Wait. This place is very vibrant. I honestly kind of like that. Let's try that. Maybe this could be like a little rug under there. Okay. Okay. Maybe this sim is a cold sim who wants a cozy bedroom floor. <laughs> They're a cold sim, according to Tilly, and they need a cozy bedroom floor. Okay, that seems nice. We should fix their bathroom too. Look at that, it's brown. That is not the vibes. That will simply not do. Okay. Um, maybe they have a desk? I don't know. Scoot, 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 scoot. Okay, I like that. Um, maybe this chair could be, like, yellow. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of screaming clown, like, a little bit. It, it definitely kind of has clown energy. Um, that's okay, though. Clown is not necessarily bad. It's just clown. Maybe a slightly different blue shade. I was trying to channel the color of these. Um, so even if you don't like it, I was kind of, it's kind of what I'm going for. Tragic clown painting. You know what? This might be the time for it to like really, really shine because kind of fits perfect if I do say so myself. Okay, maybe they have pink curtains and we do like yellow on this. I think that's good vibes. I think that's good vibes. You just keep telling yourself that it's good vibes. You might start to believe it, you know? Don't like that. Can we add balloons? <laughs> I don't think I want to do, I don't think I want to do actual balloons. I think that I, I want it to be like, uh, again, we were kind of trying to have all of these apartments be like reasonably neutral for the purposes of like easily having all your Sims live here. And right now, this one, we are we are past that reason, reasonably neutral concept. Th this is no longer reasonably neutral. In fact, it it's not neutral at all, what we've got going on in here. So, easily, get it? Like, easel, because they're a painter. You want to walk into a room and think, huh, I could see a clown living here, and not, oh my god, a clown lives here. <laughs> There, there, Christine, that's the spirit. You understand, that's kind of what we're going for. Just, oh, maybe a clown could live here. Not, ah, a clown lives here, you know? Thanks, that's a good descriptor. I appreciate that. This seems quite artsy, right? Maybe they have some more, some more artwork that they have done. What if the clown goes over there? And then what if we had like, what if there was another easel? I don't know. Can they get behind that? I don't think so. We could give them one like right here though. It can be a different sort of easel, maybe. Is that bad? Use the starry night bed. Well, that's sort of a different vibe too. Again, we have to do 12 apartments, so <laughs> hold off a little bit. But like these things are cute. They just don't really match as well with what the vibes are in here right now. Um, I think though that that might be all six. No, oh my God, there's another one. 
You guys, jump scare. Jump scare extra apartment. I have to fix their bathroom too. Okay, hold on. I've decided to give them chaos. Chaos in the bathroom is what I'm going for with this today. Um, it can be like a selection of different colors as accents. Oh, that's maybe chaos in the bathroom in a bad way. The clown house was four and a half years ago, was it? Oh my goodness, why do I feel like we just did that? Time flies and it's scary. Okay, um, how about they have this? Okay, that's really like stepped up the game in there. March of 2019. Jeez. Okay. Um, I don't think I like the- maybe it's the wallpaper with the flooring that is not really good to me. I don't know. There is also always like this sort of option that maybe like is a little bit more toned down but still pretty. And then maybe we could use the hot pink there, you know? Guys, I'm gonna do that. All right, let's go. This one also has to have a kid's room. So, what was one of the other ideas that we had for this? <laughs> Does anybody know? Oh, athlete, okay. Athlete is good. Goth we could do, but I think I might save that for one of the other ones. This can be where maybe the sim can be kind of an athlete. Or or maybe we could try and just use that artist bed and then start there as an inspo. Why well, I'm I thought to filter by base game. I don't need to filter by base game. It just is base game. There's no other pack. <laughs> this might be interesting, right? Honestly? I feel like that color wallpaper might be good. Weirdly enough, you wouldn't expect it to be. And yet it actually like matches, I think quite well. So that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's like the exact color of the swirls, isn't it? That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna give them... Does this come in like a nice light blue that's not... Maybe it could be like a creamy color, I don't know. Okay, you know what? This is a nice colored bedroom. How much does it all cost? Oh, we haven't checked yet. So what I will tell you is, uh, yesterday when we built only the exterior. We decided, oh, let's do a little poll and, and see if we can guess how much the house costs. Like it'd be, it'd be kind of fun if we, if we did a poll for that and we all tried to guess how much it costs. Um, I thought it cost a hundred thousand unfurnished. Turns out it costed 196,000 unfurnished. That's really bad. And that was, that was completely unfurnished. It cost 196,000. Obviously now we're furnishing it. Just imagine if it costs that much unfurnished. Imagine how much it would cost furnished. <laughs> so we haven't guessed yet. Um, I'm, I'm going to guess like 400 or something, maybe even more than that. But we'll see once we furnish the whole place how much we think it costs. Because um, it's probably going to change a little bit over time. Okay, I have to swap out the style of this bathroom just a little bit because um, we've kind of gone a different direction with this, unfortunately. The tile wasn't really matching anymore. Okay. You think 700k? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm, I'm really curious to find out. Okay, I think in this bedroom, I'm going to do bunk beds again so we can fit as many sims as possible in this place. It is the same build as yesterday. Yeah, we started building this yesterday and now we're finishing it today, obviously. Um, but this is the same build that we started yesterday. Um, 
Oh, what if we did something really chaotic like this? That's kind of fun, isn't it? Long time VOD viewer, first time here live! Hey, Smooth, thanks for coming in. It's good to see you. I'm glad that you can make it today. Um, we have a lot of fun over here. We're also building a sort of chaotic 12-unit uh, apartment building. <laughs> so if you could have picked any time to make it to the stream, the chaotic 12-unit apartment is probably a good time to be here. <laughs> um, once I finish this unit, I'll show you guys the exterior again. I want to just get through with this one first, because yikes, you know? We're not even close. Um, okay. That's cool, right? I like the vibes of that. Yeah, I know, right? Thank thankfully, with the um, the new um, pack, your Sims won't have to pay for the whole thing at once, which should hopefully make this a little bit easier. Because uh, other, like, you'll be able to pay just your own bills instead of the bills for everywhere, which is what you have to do right now if you wanted to play in a place like this. <laughs> and that's just not doable. You simply cannot afford to pay the bills for everywhere in a place like this. Um, okay. But if you're a landlord, I guess that's true. If you're the landlord, you have to pay for it. This is gonna require some some cheats. <laughs> if you wanted to play here, well, well, I say good luck to you. And and uh, don't forget to mother load. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, I don't know if the gym thing is gonna work in here. We originally had talked about this place belonging to like a sim who is really into the gym, but now that we've done it, I'd like, I would have had to put it instead of the desk probably in the, in the older sim's bedroom and I didn't. So I don't know, but we'll see. What other sorts of kids stuff can we get? Maybe I'll get a more exciting Blarfy. Maybe like this one. Treadmill and living room. I mean, we could do that. I'm just worried about it fitting because you'd be kind of surprised at how much space this sort of stuff takes up. But we'll see what we can do. Um, oh, how about this? Let's get on these walls. The plain ones, because these have a lot of really nice swatches. And that will kind of bring in the rainbow vibes. Oh, this is nice! Yeah, it's just base game. The whole the whole building is just base game. That's kind of what we're going for with this. Um, the athlete can live in the other building. Yeah, we have, um... We have a lot to do, so... <laughs> Silver, Grunkles, T-Tips, and Quag, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness. Um, I think what I'm gonna do for the other building too, I might like copy paste over a lot of the furnishings. Um, like, like, like steal the rooms, copy paste, and then do a lot of swatch changing and like adding of additional stuff. Cause I feel like that would be a good way for us to, um, to, to like do it quickly. Especially when like the layouts are probably gonna be very similar across both buildings. Like if we, grab and, and drag them across, it'll be a little bit easier to to finish. So I like that right there. That's kind of nice. Let's use a different set of counters. Um, actually, we're going to show the exterior again once I finish the this unit. Just give me a second. because <laughs> Otherwise, if I keep stopping to show the exterior like I have been doing, then we're going to be like Never gonna get through it. I have I haven't been doing it that much. I've been doing it a little bit, but not that much. Um, but you know what I mean. We have to. We gotta get through this a little bit, if we can. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do in this unit is have the dining table, over here. And then we'll put like. Um, I don't know if I like those colors, but you know. This is number six. This is number six. So we're almost halfway. We're almost halfway. We're getting somewhere. I kind of want to use that like bluish gray and green vibe again out here, but it doesn't really match like. Mm. 
No. That comes in gray, though. So that's something, I guess. I don't know. I don't know! The hallway has the wrong paint? Where? Oh, one tile got messed up. Good call. How many floors, including basements? Um, it's three floors and there's one basement. The basement is quite small, though. So I guess four if you count the basement, but the basement really isn't big. Um, it's, it's quite little down there. Uh, the intention with the basement was that I was thinking, um, that looks bad. I was thinking with the basement that when the pack comes out, we'd be able to put like whatever, um, cause we, we were assuming that there's gonna be like the face on the trailer. You know how they had, this is so ugly. Oh my God. But in the trailer they had like, um, the water heater and stuff. So we're sort of figuring that we're gonna wanna put that in the basement when the pack comes out. Um, I don't know which wallpaper to use. I don't know what color scheme to use. This is kind of throwing me off because this one is quite green too. So if this is all green, that would be bad. I might have to use a smaller dining table. I don't know. Oh, we can maybe get like four seats on a small dining table though. Maybe we go for more of like a yellow vibe in here. What if I paint all the walls a pastel yellow? Oh, I have that same pastel yellow in here. Okay, that's bad. Let me do like a pastel pinky color. So we aren't using the same wallpaper everywhere. But we could try and make the pastels work. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Not the sailboat wallpaper. Yeah, I used it in the kids room. I kind of like it. I don't usually go for that one, so it's kind of fun. I have like, I had such a strong vision for the like primary bedroom in this unit. And now that I'm doing this room, it's like completely fallen off. I have no idea what I want this to be like. None of the rugs are big enough either. What if we tried to use like this one? Cause that might have some interesting. That's not really the, oh, okay. Wait, that, that maybe works. Cause it has like a little bit of that light color in there. Okay. Okay. I think we want to get a little bit of like a grayish tone again. This isn't really gray, but you know. With Shrimp's ear twitching? Oh my goodness. You want to see him up close? Hold on. Look at him. Shrimpy. Oh, sorry. I moved the chair and he woke up. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, look at him stretch. <laughs> He's so sleepy. He's so sleepy. Thank you, shrimp. Okay. Um. Let's see. Maybe I'll do the fridge over here again. And then I'll put like, ooh. I don't know, maybe I will do like this little corner piece. Is my not so berry family to live in apartments when the pack comes out? No, we won't have the not so berry Sims live in apartments because, um, okay, if you're new to my stream, please don't be alarmed by what, what I'm about to say, okay? It sounds a lot worse than it is. But the reason that we can't live in apartments with the not so berry Sims is that I have too many graves. So like, while it would be fun, there's not enough room for the graves, really, if we wanted to live in an apartment. Um, so it's probably better for us to not live in an apartment with not so berry, because um, I have so many of them. 
Um, my YouTube legacy sims, though, those people, I want to live in, like, a townhouse, multifamily sort of vibe so I can get the extended family with living with us. So. Um... Yeah, yikes. Maybe I could put the full counter. I think that's okay. Takes up a lot of space, but maybe in a good way? I don't know. How old is Shrimp? He's about five months old, Pancake. Um, just about five months old. They grow up so quick, huh? Should I have done a... Maybe it shouldn't be white. The white is very, very light colored. I think it's better to have something more substantial in color. Um, okay. That's nice, thank you. Okay. Those ghosts have seen a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the ghosts, they deserve a nice big space, you know? They've been through a lot over the years, our not so berry ghosts, so uh, we, we can't shove them in an apartment. They deserve to have a big space. This is, honestly, it's very simple and like very neutral, obviously, in color. Um, but I think it's it's actually quite nice, the the look of this place. It's good vibes. Okay, maybe I'll give them, like, some bread or something. So, Kinley, we have- this is, like, two apartment buildings next to each other. That's what I built here. Um, and each of the buildings has six units in it. So, there's six here and then six over there. Um, and this is the sixth apartment that we've furnished. Um, for what Jen is this for? Oh, so that's what we were saying. This, this isn't, like, for any sims or anything. Um, this isn't like for my not so berry challenge. Um, people were asking if we would do apartments for that, but we kind of decided that would be weird and hard. Um, this isn't this isn't like for any generation. This is um, it's for nobody, actually. We're kind of building like a generic apartment that can be used um, when the pack comes out. Is kind of the the vision here, is to make something quite simple that anybody could have their Sims move into. Um, and then hopefully get a lot of use out of. No, that's bad. That might be nice. Subtle, simple, nice. Okay, oh, he stretched again, hi shrimp. He's so cute. He's been so needy the past couple days. Although, he, he was um, naughty this morning, you know why? He woke me up at 6.45. I was gonna go at seven, so it's fine. But he did wake me up at 6.45 by chasing his tail on top of me. So, um, you know. <laughs> That's, thank you, shrimp. <laughs> He's so weird, he chases his tail so much. Okay, I think that's, I think that's the full, uh, left side building complete. Um, that's not naughty, you have been blessed by cat. I guess that's true. <gasps> The game almost crashed. Yikes. I had a little moment just then. Okay, we're fine. Um, we're fine. P and Artemis and Sammy and attached. Thank you for the subs. Let me show you what the outside of this place looks like again so that you can see it. Um, uh, so this is the full building. It's like two matching apartments. The layout of both of them is exactly the same. Um, and we are gonna try and finish decorating all of them. If you're just tuning in, um, this is a fully base game building. We don't have like early access or anything. Um, we're building this sort of on purpose to get ready for the pack coming out and like for when we do have early access. Um, I think it looks pretty cool though. I like the brick colors. I like the like landscaping we've done. I, I'll show you from Manage Worlds. It looks really good for Manage Worlds. Um, uh, and this is the lot, this is um, where the museum usually is. I deleted the museum and we're building this um, in Willow Creek. So you're probably very familiar with this area if you've played The Sims 4 before. Um, but that's where we're making this, so. Um, what happened to Snappy? Nothing happened to Snappy. She just doesn't really sit in my office right now. Um, she has been in here a lot this week in the morning, which is not when I'm streaming. <laughs> Sorry, um, but the cats they sort of go through phases like shrimp is usually never in here He's been in here the past two full streams 
they kind of go through phases where they want to slip, where, where they want to sleep. Sorry, let me show you. Oops, hold on. I want to show you the full cat cam again because I want to get a picture of him so you can see what he looks like because he's being really cute. Hold on. Sorry, everyone. I've got my phone here. The cat cam doesn't like do him justice with how he's sitting. You can't see it that well. Okay, I've got a better one for you. Look at that. Wait, hold on. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? That's my best friend right there. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So anyway, that's what we've been building is we're making it over here. It's, it's these apartments. Um, and now we only have six more to furnish. <laughs> Oh God, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so what I was thinking about doing, um, and let me know if you agree on this uh, concept. Well, we already talked about it, so I'm gonna do it anyway. But what I was kind of thinking about doing, I'm gonna have to delete Windows. We're gonna need to duplicate, I think. Um, but I wanted to like, Oh wait, windows can stay. Hold on, I'll just delete the duplicates of them. I wanted to copy and paste the rooms and then maybe like change swatches or uh, change stuff like that on a room by room sort of basis. Um, Cause that way it'll be a little bit quicker to furnish. Um, the bonus of doing this build, right, is that um, they're, they're really, um, is that fine where that's located? Yeah, it actually is. They're in like the exact same space. Um, you're only gonna see them like one at a time. Like you're not gonna see them all together. So you won't really even notice if there's like some identical layouts. <laughs> um, Cause you're only gonna see one room each time. So, um, there's double windows there and a double front door. Okay, um, then we'll just we'll just switch around the swatches and stuff to make this a little bit better and different. Okay, so in this one, um, can we copy paste the building? No, not so easily. I also would rather do it room by room. It's a little bit easier. We already built the whole building again, so um, we don't need to do that from scratch. Okay, this is. I might actually switch this around um, just a bit because, oh, that's weird. Um, I might switch this around just a bit because uh, I like this being in front of the windows because we have windows in this one that we did not have in the other one. Okay, are the support thingies doubled? No, I, I fixed it already, thankfully. So we're okay there. Uh, the columns, I deleted the doubles. <laughs> So, um, okay. Oh my God, now he's sitting really funny. Look at this. Oh, you can't really tell. He looks silly from my, from my angle. Um, okay. So, we'll probably make this maybe a little bit tighter. So there's more walking space over here. And we'll change the colors. And I'll use like a different rug and stuff in this one. Oh, maybe this place can be like slightly more pink vibes. What if it was like pink and light blue? Do you do you see where I'm going for what I'm going for with this? The pink and light blue? I don't know. That's maybe cute, maybe. I I can see it. Okay. Why it seems so dark. Jeez. Okay. Um I guess the floors are fine. The cabinets are fine. I'll probably get us Maybe some nice tile. I'm literally gonna keep the cabinets exactly the same. I'm not gonna change the color of the cabinets. Oh, we haven't put one yet, Christine. We can put one in, in one of these apartments. That'll be a nice touch. Um, okay. 
I really like, I'm gonna change the wallpaper again, don't worry. I really like um, these pictures. I kinda wanna do like three of them together. I don't know. Yeah, the pride flag is base game. I think it would be really bad if the pride flag wasn't base game. <laughs> Um, it, but the pride flag is base game, so everybody has it. If you've got the Sims 4, you've got the pride flag. Um, it is base game. They added that a few years ago. That came out, um, closer to, like, when Island Living first released, actually. Um, it's when the pride flag came out. Okay. But yeah, I think that would be really wrong of them to, to, like, lock behind a paywall, you know? That's just kind of messed up, so... Okay, they can have a third chair. I guess that's good too. Um, oops, paint this too. Yeah, imagine the backlash if you had to buy it. That would just be terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Okay, I'll swap these two so they're a little different than next door. Um, okay. Guitar? Well, we had a guitar in this room of the other one. I think what I'm kind of leaning towards right now is maybe putting... Here I go again with, like, desks in the corners of rooms and stuff. But I, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we could put a desk out here, like, kind of in the corner. Um... Does that come in any good swatches? Really? No? Comes in like dark blue, but that's no good. Painter's apartment. We actually did that upstairs. <laughs> so we do have one of those. We do have a painter's space upstairs. Um, we've been kind of trying to cover all the bases. Okay. Um, what sort of artwork? Oh, this is cute, right? Lighting. Maybe we get a little lamp. That's simple. Oh, you're totally fine. It's a good idea. Uh, but we do have one. We do have one. Maybe I'll size these down. That might be better. Okay. I don't like that anymore either. I might swap these to be like different. All right. Considering we copy and pasted this from over there, <laughs> it's not even that bad. <laughs> Is that a corner edge of the counter? Oh, it's not a it's not an actual corner piece. I guess I could get like a literal corner piece if we wanted to. Um be a little bit thinner. So Okay. Um let me get them like a little plant too. And then maybe Honestly, maybe we call it at that. Because I'm trying to, like, keep this simple. Diagonal kitchen floor tiles? Uh, I hadn't really considered doing floor tiles. I'd have to put this back. Um, I don't really like it when I do, like, tile in just part of a space. We could do that, though, just to have this be a little bit different looking from next door or from across the, the way. Maybe it is nice to have, just to have like some sort of change. Oh, I won't, we have to redo this bedroom still. I didn't forget this, you guys, don't worry. We have to redo the whole bedroom. Oh my God, wait a minute. I have an idea. We were literally just talking about this, but the, um, the trans pride flag matches the vibes exactly. <laughs> Forget that butterfly thing. That was stupid. This is better. Okay. Um, is that the same color? Oh, these are not even white. Okay, that's better. Now it's lighter. Okay. That's an improvement, I think. Oh, scratchy post. If you want to have tiles that are, like, on a corner, you can press Control F, and it gives you, like, a little tiny quarter tile that you can work with. Um, which is a pretty big improvement. <laughs> so if you're ever, uh, if you're ever trying to do that, Control F gets you quarter tiles. 
Okay, um... I haven't really used this bed yet. So maybe we could try that in here. Um, okay. I'll give them some pretty pink curtains. I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jess, thanks for the prime sub. Um, maybe we could like swap this for one of the fancier bookcases. These are all becoming kind of expensive apartments now. I've kind of gone all out in here. Merge two units into one and make that one for the landlord. L landlord? No, so we've talked about this, Mick, because a lot of people keep telling us to try and merge the units and stuff. Um, and it's a good idea in theory. The, the problem is with, with like sort of the vision that I have for this, and I know I'm being maybe kind of silly, but sort of the vision that I have in my head for this involves a lot of really tiny apartments <laughs> because one of my like greatest wishes for The Sims 4 this entire time, I've so badly wanted for like literally years now to have smaller apartments in this game. It's like all I've ever wanted is to have smaller apartments for my Sims. <laughs> and now obviously um, that we can build them from scratch, we can make them smaller. Um, and we don't have to worry too much about like um, the the like weird giant city living ones anymore and everything. So I don't really want to do like one big apartment because um, I like I like them being small like this instead of like a big giant takes up the whole floor sort of thing. Um, yeah, the eco lifestyle ones are quite small, thankfully, because that's what I want out of apartments in this game. Um, but the ones from City Living are all really big, to the point where I don't really like to use most of them, so. Um. Okay. How about that? Never knew about the swatch? Yeah, bad time! It's so easy to forget about swatches for stuff like this. Um, there's a lot of things, like, if- a lot of times when the default swatch of an item in The Sims 4 is, like, not good. I don't know about you, but, like, sometimes, without really realizing it, I kind of, like, write off the other swatches and just, like, don't gravitate towards them, because you're like, oh, the default one's ugly, so you kind of forget about the others. Um, but a lot of times the others are not ugly. <laughs> so, um, okay, I don't really like that. Um, you're curious about how city living and eco lifestyle will work with the pack? Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that too. Full transparency, I, I like can't test that in early access because we only have the base game and the new pack. Um, but my assumption is that like anything, anytime they add a new lot type, right? Um, like there's going to be a new lot type that's going to be like a rental residential. Oh, there's a cat cam covering it, but you get it. Like there'll be like a rental residential, you know, as opposed to just regular, regular residential. Sort of like how you have a tiny home and stuff. Um, and you can't make an apartment a tiny home because you can't change the lot type of the apartments in San Myshuno. They're just apartments and they're stuck. Um, so those are probably not going to change. My guess is it'll just be the same as it has always been. Um, won't change at all, will just be the same. Um, and you can't, just like how you can't make those into a haunted house lot type, because they have to be stuck. I bet it's gonna be the same that way. Um, so I think that it'll probably work really easily with that, and the same thing with eco lifestyle ones. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, it means that rentals can't be haunted, but the same goes for right now with like all the other apartments. You can't make them haunted either, um, which kind of stinks, but, um, it just kind of is the way that it is. Obviously, that's not confirmed. I'm just guessing. Um, but that's my assumption about how it's going to be. I don't like this. That's how, like, I assume it'll work based on how, like, everything else works. Um, and I could be, I could be completely off with that. So, maybe they have no rug. Let's do this little kid's room. Um... Maybe the kids have, like, some more exciting swatches going on. Okay. It's, like, the same as the other one, just, <laughs> just ever so slightly adjusted to have some different colors in it. Yeah. Maybe they have one kid? I don't know, I kind of want to do multiple, because 
Uh, most of these apartments are quite small, so I'm trying to fit in, like, as much extra stuff as possible in them. Um, that's kind of what I'm going for. What is the new pack? Sorry. Oh, it's gonna be, um, the- it's called For Rent. It's a new rental expansion pack. Um, oh, yikes. That means that these got duplicated, huh? Oh, no, maybe not. These. Oh, maybe not. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a new, uh, expansion pack where you can build apartments from scratch. So that'll be kind of cool. <laughs> We're all kind of excited about the thought of that, I think. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go for, like, in this unit, I'm thinking about trying to do a sort of, like, darker color scheme. Um, that's kind of my, like, initial thought and sort of what I'm leaning towards, is we could try and make, like, something kind of dark and different. I don't know. Totally different vibes from the other places, but that's a good thing. It's gonna be, like, gray and black on the inside. But also white, because we need to have white still, because <laughs> all the windows and stuff are white. Um... Okay. Um, goth would be cool. Yeah, I don't want to call it goth, like, outright, because unfortunately with, with, like, the way that the building is, there's gonna be, like, a bunch of white accents in here still. So I don't want to be like, this is the goth apartment, because it won't really be completely that, but it's gonna be, uh, darker, moodier, as some may say. Goth gym rat. Oh, this could be the place where the, the gym sim lives. You're right, we could put their treadmill, like, over here. That's a tight squeeze. <laughs> but that might be nice for them. I don't know. Okay. Who's Jim? Okay, <laughs> haven't you made that yet? No, we haven't done the gym stuff yet. Um, we have not- we have not gone for that style yet. Okay. I don't know. This is interesting. Sort of different vibes. Let me get different counters too, because these are not really what I'm going for. Um, what if they have black tile in the kitchen? Ooh, I don't like that. Yikes. Um, never mind. <laughs> we could do like, like the subway tile though. Are any of the cabinets white and black? Oh, oh, okay. This is fine. We can use these. That'll, that'll do. Okay. Uh, Danny, Captain Smilla, thank you for the subs, everybody. That's actually, I think, kind of nice. Maybe I'll upgrade their, their kitchen stuff, too. To be slightly better. There's a nice mix of the cheapest and the second cheapest <laughs> throughout this building. We've kind of done a little bit of both everywhere. Um, okay. Um, as a goth, I feel the need to say that my doors are white along with most of my walls and my bedspread is pink. Yeah, Kate, I get it. I get it. But when I tell the internet goth apartment, they'll be like, that's not goth. Because you have to go like all out in The Sims, you know? So, so if I did it, um, with what we have right now, I think people wouldn't like it. I don't know. Um, Potatoes, we've done- this is the eighth. This unit that we're on right now is the eighth apartment. <laughs> of twelve. Of twelve. So we're- we're getting there, we're getting there. We still have a ways to go, but we are getting there. Ooh, what if we use this, like, dark blue on a lot of the walls down here? <gasps> Guys, that's kind of nice, right? I actually think that's really nice. Okay. That's really good vibes. I really honestly like that. <laughs> I like that a lot more than I realized I would. Okay, I'm gonna give them a little trash can over here because it only fits there. 
And then maybe if we could find like, I don't know. That's kind of nice, I guess. I like that shade of blue. That's good. I may use the same thing in here. Okay, and then we're gonna wanna probably switch the tile out too in this bathroom to be like, perhaps a little bit more the vibes. I don't know. Who knows what the vibes are, but. Okay. I don't like that tile actually, I've realized. And I don't like any of it. Oh no. Oh, that has like black on top. That's not too bad. Okay. Still simple, but inoffensive. Okay. Okay. Make an apartment for Stanley? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> This is the thing, we, um, we're kind of trying to go for something a little, maybe that should be blue. We're kind of trying to do this a little bit generic on purpose, which might sound like a really weird thing to say, but we're kind of trying to make it slightly generic on purpose because the goal is to have this be really usable for like pretty much any sim. Like, we want you to be able to play in this really easily, and like, if you're playing as the landlord, you'd be able to really easily just kind of move anybody in here and not have to like, worry like it, um, we kind of want it to work like that, so. Um, get those, how about that? Uh, and then we'll get like, some sort of... How about this? Okay. You think you dated the guy who lived here for a little while? Does it does it look like like their place? That's funny. Um, sad clown painting. Believe it or not, we actually. This is gonna sound really wild, but we already used the tragic clown painting in this building. <laughs> or I guess it was the it was in the other building. Um, the other side has the tragic clown painting. Yeah, it looks kind of like one of the apartments from Unpacking. I, I like that comparison. It does kind of look like that a little bit. Let's use this. Oh. Oh, I didn't change the floor yet. Okay. So there's the bottom two floors. Well, what's nice is it's very obvious which one is which. <laughs> it's very clear which one is which. Um, there are two separate apartments. Very different. Okay. Only four left, chat. Only four left. These ones are a little bit smaller. Oh, here. The clown painting's in this one. Um, okay. So, I say in this unit, do I have to delete? Oh, these windows are duplicated too. I forgot. When you... When I copy them over, it's like duplicating the windows. So we need to make sure we don't have them double. Um, if you're just tuning in, I'm I'm copy pasting them a little bit because we're trying to um, we're trying to like do this quicker <laughs> and be able to like essentially change swatches of very similar apartment units um, to make them go faster. So. That is kind of the vibes. Okay, what if we did like... How about, what if we went for like green instead of the sort of orangey colors? Oh, that's ugly, yikes. Really similar vibes in this one. Really, really similar vibes in this one. It's not that different at all. We'll do different artwork though. Um, okay. I don't know. I'm just picturing, I'm picturing kind of like how I'm envisioning myself playing with this. I forget if I said this out loud or in my head already, by the way, because I did think this a few minutes ago, but I don't know if I said it or not. So if I repeat myself, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I do this a lot where I think I said something, but I just thought it. 
But I, I'm picturing like how I'm gonna play with a landlord here, right? Like if I wanted to be the landlord, I am, I'm not decorating it for individuals. I'm just putting some random people in there. And like, they're just gonna, oh my gosh, look at shrimp. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not decorating it for like any individuals. They're just gonna get what they get and have to deal with it. And I'm not gonna try, you know? <laughs> so um, I'm kind of channeling that a little bit as I'm doing this right now, you know? So the way his little feet are dangling, shrimp, that does not seem safe. You're gonna fall off. <laughs> He's so sleepy. <laughs> I could sit here and watch him all day. How did he get so big? What's the theme for this one? I don't know, Christine, just green, I guess. We can give them a, some sort of skill building item. Here, um, the theme for this one is they have that bonsai tree. <laughs> the theme is uh, that bonsai tree item. There. Plant apartment, if you will. We could probably try and like up the plant content in here a little. Um, what is I what if I gave them like quite a few little plants over here in the corner? Oh, that's kinda cool. Oh, he moved. Okay, shrimpy. How dare he get so big? This is what I've been saying. I don't understand where this came from. Just a couple months ago, he was like this big and in a sewer. How did this happen? How could this have happened? Okay. Who does he think he is? Oh, that comes in green, that's good. Yeah, you can tell us the same as next door. This one's not as, uh, we didn't switch through this one very much, that's for sure. Is that ladder supposed to be there? Yeah, it's supposed to go to the ceiling. Um, there are a couple things like that that got messed up apparently. But, um, yeah, their other brother, um, the one that my parents have, uh, my parents have their, their brother and their mom, um, and their other brother, is like right in between shrimp and sunny sizes. It's kind of funny. Um, I haven't, he hasn't been weighed in, in a bit because they, when did they last go to the vet? Like a month ago? I forget. Um, so I don't have an exact number because they grow fast. So, um, but he was like right in between their sizes about a month ago. So, okay. I don't, well, maybe I will just copy paste this again, to be honest. Um, shrimp is big. Shrimp is just big. It's not really that his sister and brother are small, it's that he is just big. <laughs> he is a large cat. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a switcheroo in here too, I think. I'm gonna have them have this bathroom and we'll swap this out somehow when I do the other room. Yeah, he's just, he's just big compared to his siblings, so. Um, I don't really like any of those. I guess that one might work. With a little bit of green. I don't know. Lime green. Lime green. Yikes. Okay, this sim's not as into music as the other one was. They're into plants. So I'm gonna give them a lot of plants. Is this going on YouTube? Yeah, it will. I put all my live streams up on YouTube and I'm probably gonna make a video about this build um, once the pack is out and we can like make it into a functional build. <laughs> it's not functional yet, so <laughs> we'll, we'll hold off, but I probably will make a video about this once the pack is out. Um, that's kind of why I'm building it is so I can use it in early access, so. Um, okay. That's nice. Maybe I'll get like one more little one. Okay, good. 
Good, 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 good. Um, I don't think Kayla saw my idea. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I'm very distracted. What was your idea? Your German great-grandma used to spit on the top of my head and try to push me down shorter when I was a kid because I kept growing. You could try that. Okay, I really- I thought that was gonna be an idea for the build. Was very shocked to find out you- you meant that. Um, wow. Well, that's something. Hadn't- hadn't really considered that myself, no. So, please don't spit on your build. <laughs> no. Well, I won't spit on the cat either, Christine, but that was an interesting suggestion. <laughs> interesting idea you had there. I don't know. Can I tell you something? I did spill water on him the other day. I already told Stream about this because I felt so bad. It wasn't, in my defense, it was not my fault. It was his fault because he, I was trying to put his water dish back down after refilling it and he like, you know how cats like rub their head into you or into things? He like bumped his head into my hand and then I spilled the water on him. I'm so sorry, shrimp. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, but I spilled water on him by accident. Cause he put it, but he like put his head in it. Like what was I supposed to, anyway. Um, he's fine, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he likes water. You know, his brother does. His brother Sam, um, consistently, constantly, his brother Sam likes to, uh, like, jump into his water bowl and play with the water bowl. So, wouldn't be surprised if, um, if, uh, he liked water too, but he doesn't, hasn't really shown that much of an interest in it, so. Um... Do you get tray files for builds when early access because the other doesn't work? No, even annoying, more annoying than that, Avia. Um, I can't use tray files because you have no library access at all. In the CFE version of the game that they give us, the gallery is completely grayed out, so you can't even get into your library. So if you wanted to get a build, you can't use tray files either. What I have to do is get save files um, and like copy and paste save files into the, there's like a different folder, like a separate Sims 4 folder, because I basically have the Sims 4 installed twice. I have like the base game and the pack, and then I have my regular game like this. So you have to get save files um, when you want to do that, because you can't even access the library. And it's, it's so annoying, because like, if, say I, um, I, I wanted to like work on a build, right? I, I oftentimes use like build saves when I'm playing. Like this save file that I'm in right now is a, a save that I just basically just build in. I do a lot of builds in this save. But then in the CFE version, if I want to like play in one of the builds that I've made, you can't get it. Like <laughs> if I built it in the build save and then I decide, oh, I want to use this, I have to play in that save then. Cause you can't like transfer Sims between saves easily and you can't transfer them between like you can't get builds easily so it's really annoying it's fine when you're bringing bringing like base game stuff in and out but like with the pack i can't do that into this game because i don't have the pack in this game so it is it's like more annoying than you think you use the library a lot more often than you realize um so it's pretty annoying to not have access to it but it's okay i'd rather have early access to the pack than not but <laughs> um it is annoying how the, the library is disabled so um okay Let's do this unit next, shall we? I think we shall. Um, okay, I have to switch around a couple of these things because I, I did rearrange this bathroom. Um, okay, move the door there. Delete the windows on the white balcony things. Are there, there are doubles of that. There's not doubles of... I already did those doubles, so... Oh, look! I never painted these floors. It's good that I caught that, to be honest. Did I paint them over here? No. Okay. Okay, so in this one... What are the vibes in this one, chat? Any random ideas? What if, okay, concept, the, the theme of this room is they have a chess table.
bookworm. They have like a library. I don't know. Maybe? Okay, I am gonna need to... I'm gonna copy and paste again, because it makes it easy. Well, really it's just the kitchen, isn't it? That I'm trying to make sure I have again and not have to do again. That's the main deal. I just want to have to not duplicate the kitchen. Okay. Um. Grab this again too. Tech bros. Oh, we could do like a video gamer apartment upstairs too, maybe. Oh, this one, this one I'm gonna redo completely. I don't want to use that. Um. Okay. Bookworm. So. Maybe they have like, sort of dark flooring vibes in here. Um, what if they have like a built-in sort of set of bookcases behind their living room? Oh my goodness, that is excessive, isn't it? Okay, like imagine that's the vibe though. Imagine for a second, that's what we're going with. That's cool, right? Okay, this bookshelf has horrible swatches on it. They can be dark, it's okay. It's okay. Um, There's the balcony there. Oh, oh, I do need to have windows on this side. Oh no, it's, it's this one that doesn't need windows. Oh dear, I had it backwards. I did have it backwards. Okay, maybe they can have that thing. I don't know. Some art. Okay, well that's a shame because I liked that. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. We'll switch it around, we'll switch it around. We'll do the bookshelves on this side. Jazz cats to the rescue, yeah, truly. Okay. Um, We do need to have uh, windows over here, which kind of throws off the kitchen setup a little bit, and that's kind of annoying. Um, what if, for the first time, these sims have an island? I don't know. Nobody else has had an island yet. What if they get one? Just a thought, just a thought. Maybe I'll use a nice dark counter. Um, ooh, wait, what if we did like sort of peninsula vibes like that? No, I don't like that. Oh God, you guys, this is gonna be bad. You thought an actual island and got confused? Oh yeah, no, no, I meant, I meant like an island in game. This is gonna be kind of dark. It's gonna be cool, I think. Um, interesting vibes there, I must say. Maybe they don't have a TV. What if they have no TV and they have like, like mostly reading space set up? Okay, I'm gonna use that darker swatch of the curtains actually, because that matches the wallpaper better. Okay. Um, scoot that down. Okay. No, that's bad. Um, should this be like, maybe that goes over there? What if they have a really nice apartment? And they have like really fancy kitchen stuff, more fancy than we've been using. They, they won't have a TV, so they've spent all their money on like this stuff. Yeah? Okay, that seems fine to me. Um, hey Julia, or Julie, sorry, and Liv, and Danielle, and Christina, thank you for the sub, sorry buddy. Um, okay. 
and they're very academic in Christine's words, so they don't have TV, obviously, like we've been discussing. Okay. I think that's kind of nice. The problem is, if I wanted to... They could still use it like that. You'd be surprised. I've been doing a lot of really small places recently, so that does work. And then they can have bar stools, so they can actually sit and eat somewhere. Um... Okay. Cool. That's really nice. Let me get a nicer light too. Well, at this point, I didn't even have to bother copying and pasting the other apartment. <laughs> this is so different from the other one. We didn't even need to copy and paste. Does that look kind of weird? I think that looks kind of weird, but like maybe in a good way. I've never used that in like a regular style place before. I think I like it. Okay. Cool. Um, and then I guess we'll give them like, ooh, I hadn't really considered using that rug. My initial thought was maybe like this one, but maybe bigger. Vibes not really matching. Oh, well, mm, 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 no, 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 no. Not really matching. Not really feeling the vibes. Do I have the free holiday pack in the early access version? Oh, no. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, no, the answer is no, we don't. That would have looked good. We don't have the holiday pack in the early access version though. Goodbye, pretty lamp. It was fun while it lasted. How many more is there? Just two? Okay. We can do this. How about this thing? That comes in some like nice shades of brown, <laughs> which is kind of what I'm going for. Yeah, that was smart. Thanks for pointing that out, because I, I didn't even really think about that, and I'm the one who has the access, so. Oh, yeah, they don't, they don't give you that pack in it, so. Okay, I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna do the chess table in the window. Wait, do I have one right here? Yeah, delete that. Um... Okay, pretty. No, 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 no. Hold on. Maybe like this one, because it's quite fancy. We'll use that there. Okay, scoot that back up against it. I don't know. Um, Silly Sloth, this is the 10th apartment that we've done. <laughs> oh my god, when you put it like that, it sounds horrifying, doesn't it? This is, uh, the 10th apartment today? Yeah. It's worth it, though. They're going a little bit quicker than you think, because we've been, we've been copying and changing colors a little, so. Um, that definitely helps. Okay. Think we're gonna finish today? I I will make sure that we finish it today. <laughs> um, I I will uh, guarantee us that it is done by today. Um. Oh my god, this place is gonna be so expensive. This is not logical. Uh, for like a a gameplay perspective, this is not smart with it having that much expensive stuff in it. Um. Okay, I like how there's no TV. I think that's kind of cool. They've got a trash can. I'm gonna give them a coat rack. I think that would be good. I'll put that there and then we'll get like a little nice plant or something. Okay. That's kind of good vibes. And we'll make a really fancy, um, really fancy something in here for the bedroom. Probably the same wallpaper again. 
even with the cheapest stoves, it's still 12 stoves. Yeah, that's the thing. No matter how you, you do this, no matter what, it's going to be like ridiculously expensive. This is probably not the best uh, building to play with, like as a landlord, um, just because of like how pricey everything is going to be. Um, probably a little bit more practical to play with this one um, just to live in, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, Honestly, that kind of fits the vibes. We could have one apartment that's sparsely furnished, like just the bare necessities. That's actually a smart idea because we could do it like kind of like a starter apartment. Because that way, if you wanted to play in it, it, it wouldn't be like too bad. To be honest, we probably, we probably should do that. I hadn't really considered that, Christine, but you're right. That's smart. We should, we should sparsely furnish one of them. One of the ones upstairs, I suppose, because there's no more options down here. <laughs> you should check the other bathroom. Why? Oh, this part? Oh yeah, sorry. I, I know you guys probably might not remember this, but I, I did a little switcheroo. Um, I like reorganized the sides that things were on. Um, so we have to fix all that, okay. And then this one obviously needs to be fixed now, too. Okay. You want to play an evil landlord as Nancy? That's exactly what I want to do, too. I think that'd be so fun to do on stream when the pack comes out. Like, when we first get our, like, first days of early accessibility. I think it'd be really fun to do, like, an evil, evil Nancy land grab landlord sort of gameplay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, that one, all different colors of wood in here, kind of like to a fault. I kind of like that reddish color though. Is there one that's maybe a bit, oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Very, very, very dark. <laughs> it is very, very, very dark in here. That's okay. I'll give them like one more fancy painting. We have done a plant lover apartment, yeah. We've used a couple plant themes in this build. There's like person who has a lot of plants and then there's person who has plant wallpaper. Um, we've kind of doubled it up. Okay. Let's call this one. Oh wait, let's give them the computer. I almost forgot. They don't have a TV, so it'd be nice to have a computer in here. Oil lamp, I don't know. Is this the last one? No. <laughs> No, there's still more. Okay, so when I first built this apartment, um, I was kind of envisioning, cause that's why I use like the cheap stuff in the bathroom. I was kind of envisioning that this would be like maybe one of the cheaper apartments. So maybe we could try and decorate this as like the cheaper sort of starter apartment. Um, so we'll, we'll try and decorate it like that, I think. Um, okay, and this one will be a little bit easier for you to play in and use if you want. Uh, yikes. Maybe like that color? Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. All right, well, thanks for the eight month resub. Thank you so much. Get these. Oh wait, curtains are expensive. That isn't like bare minimum starter home, is it? Oh. Wow, you don't realize how much you're spending until you actually start doing it, do you? Um, okay. Cheap, maybe I'll just put one nightstand over there. What about a mermaid landlord? Oh, I mean, well, you could definitely do that if you wanted to. <laughs> The, the option is definitely there for you, I suppose. Okay, that's honestly quite simple in probably a good way. I'll give them like maybe a light colored rug. Maybe I'll do this wallpaper everywhere and we can do green in here. That's good. That's nice and subtle. Okay, so that's the bedroom. And then we'll do simple like affordable stuff in the rest of the room as well. 
I don't like this color green anymore. Maybe I'll do beige. What about the last one, futuristic party house? Yeah, this is the thing. I'm not really sure. We, we've we kind of deviated a little bit from the original plan, and the original plan was to have them be, like, very simple, um, very simple, like, easy to fit any sim into. Like, that was kind of the vibes that we were going for. Um, and we have kind of, like, separated ourselves from that just a bit, uh, almost accidentally. Um, just because we've been trying to really have fun with the colors and stuff um, and the, the theming, but we want it to be kind of simple, <laughs> you know, because then it's easy for like anybody to have any of their sims move into and start out with without like being extremely hindered by the very specific color scheme or, or whatever, you know, which we have done anyway. Um, okay, so there's gonna be this will be where the f the stove goes, and this will be where the fridge goes. I'll put the sink here. Um, okay. Um, that's a bit boring, but that'll do if it has to. No, I want to have more fun. Hold on, sorry. Okay, maybe I could do one of these. This might be better, cause that, oh, that's really cute actually. Oh my goodness, okay, I like that. Good, good, good. Um, I realized that using like full sets of cabinets isn't really like basic Sims vibes either, <laughs> but um, it's okay. They can have they can have a full set of cabinets in here. It's, it's worth it. It's only small, they're not gonna pay for much furniture, so we'll be able to have like some decent stuff in here. They won't have to pay for much, this will be fine. That looks terrible, the lighting. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, I did, it was downstairs. I wanted, I was thinking about giving them coffee in here. I never gave them like kitchen counter clutter, which I meant to do. Oh my God, we're never gonna finish this. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Hi, Jess, with the 75 months. Oh my God, that's scary. Also, Rez and Lisa and Whale, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay. Simple wall stuff that's maybe still fun. Oh wait, maybe you could have like a plant and also a fruit bowl, because the fruit bowl is nice. It's colorful, that's good. Okay. My shell took you way too long. I'm sorry. It is rough, isn't it? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Um, okay. 75 months. I, I can't believe that. I almost don't want to think about it. <laughs> it's like, don't, don't think about that too closely, you know? Um, oh, all of a sudden it's not starter home vibes anymore because I put something fancy. Oops. Oh, you know what I never use? It's um, this rug. Honestly, I don't know if I've used that in literal years. It might be fun to do that in here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna do the shell tours on the 30th still. That is the plan. Um, that is still the plan, is for the 30th to be the shell tour day. Um. Yeah, I like these wood floors a lot too, Jess. I really, I think they're kind of cute. Okay, this is a lot of empty wall space now, which is bad vibes. Not really what we want out of this. Um, that's okay. Wait, what shell? Oh, we're doing a new shell. We started it last week. Um, we haven't, we have not finished it, or well, we haven't done the tours yet, obviously, because the tours are gonna be um, on the 30th, so on Thursday is when we're gonna do the shell tours. But yes, there is a new shell going on right now that we started last week. Well, this is kind of bland and bleh. <laughs> That's okay. Um, is there any other like, maybe this sim can have an easel too. Oh my God, all of a sudden it's not a starter anymore.
I don't like that. Never mind. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. How about a clock? Use that floor too much. Yeah, I used to. It's funny because I used to really dislike this floor. Like, I would say it was my least favorite floor, like, probably five, six, seven years ago. Oh, upsetting to think about that. It was a long time ago. I didn't like it. But now it's, like, my one of my favorite ones. Um. So. Okay, this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. What other sorts of, like, skill type stuff could we put in? Um, sorry for yawning, everybody. Maybe we could have, like, the microphone is an interesting idea. Maybe I could put that in the corner so that your sims can skill build. I don't really like this item, though, is the problem. Like, I think it's kind of boring. We have the bonsai tree in one of the other rooms, but I guess it's not that bad to have. It is like a, it's a nice and big plant, but it's also like cool gameplay wise because it has like some in-game function to it. This is simple enough and in, in a nice way. Could do knitting stuff. No, that's the problem. So we're trying to, the whole thing is base game. I don't even have any packs installed right now. Um, so it's, it's all base game. All right, all right, all right, all right. Should we copy and paste over some of these other things? I think that the pink in this bathroom is maybe like a little bit, I really like it, but I also think that the pink is maybe not ideal for this because it's kind of like, it. not everyone wants a pink bathroom, you know? So it might be better to try and do something a little bit more plain. Okay. Okay. Just noticed the shrimp icon over shrimp. Yeah, I put it there to help answer people's questions about which cat is which. I can put it full cam for you. There's ads playing. I'm sorry to the people with ads. They're gonna miss it. Hi, Shrimpy. I woke you up. I'm sorry. You can see on my curtain where there's claws um, and like claw holes in it. Isn't that nice? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, shrimp! That's adorable! Okay, okay, okay. Last apartment, chat. Last apartment. We can do this. I'm actually, I am gonna copy-paste it so that we can, like, have the kitchen laid out already. Kayla, those claw marks are from you? Oh, you're right. How could I have forgotten? Oh, uh-oh. Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, is that gonna delete all of those things? No, it just, it just acted like it was gonna, okay. Is anything else messed up anywhere? No. Okay. Um. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Why do people? The person can't even hear me because they're banned, so they can't see it anymore. But somebody was just, they got, they, they got told to stop being rude. And then they said, Simsy, you need new mods. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Why do people do this? Like, these, the mods are my friends in case you forgot. Like, <laughs> it's not gonna go over well if you insult them. Anyway, people are funny, huh? Very, very, very funny. Um, please be kind. Please be kind to each other and also very kind to the mods, okay? Um, all right. Um, let's see. Okay, so in this unit, um, I'm gonna probably switch this up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably switch this up a little bit too. All right, any last, any last color scheme ideas, chat? Let's base it off the rug. If we pick the rug, then we could probably pick the, I haven't used this rug a single time today. So that might be honestly not so bad. I wonder if we could use it in like, what if we used it in like the dark purple and blue colors? Cause I've not really ever used those together. So that might be kind of nice. 
This wallpaper has some like pretty light florals on it. That might be kind of cute too. I don't know. Um, okay. I think I, honestly, I think I like that a lot. What are the themes so far? Um, there's quite a few because there's 12 units. <laughs> Um, they, they range in, like, degree of genericness as well. We, we're trying to keep all these places kind of generic on purpose so that they're, like, easy for everyone to download and use. Um, and the, the apartments themselves sort of range in degrees of genericness, um, which probably is not helpful for answering your question, but is sort of the way that it is. Okay, I had, I used these guys downstairs. I might do them again up here. Maybe with white frames. Oh, there we go. Some random men. Okay. Your dad saw my stream and asked about the cat cam, so you explained the whole sewer cat's lore. <laughs> sewer cat lore is a very fun way of putting it. I like that descriptor. I really like that. Okay. We've got three really cute little chairs there. I like that thing. Are there any purple curtains? Not really, right? In the base game. Not like the color that we're going for, at least. We might have to use dark blue. Hmm. Okay, I think... Yikes, I don't really like those either. Um, oh, 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 well, no, no, I kind of hate these, maybe I'll use them anyway, just for the vibes, what pack is that wallpaper, oh, it's not a pack, everything in here is base game, um, everything in here is base game, so, uh, nothing from a pack, what wallpaper is it? Um, it is called the Lion in Fall. <laughs> is the name of the wallpaper, whatever that means. Um, okay. Um, put this. Okay, I think that maybe these should not be such dark colors if we're gonna do that. Like maybe these should get lightened up a little bit if we're gonna have the blue on the walls. Okay, that's... That's not bad. Somehow. Miraculously. Okay, maybe these sims also have, um, like, maybe they have a toddler. So we can give them perhaps, like, a high chair or something. We haven't really put any toddler beds in this whole place. So we can decorate the kids' room with toddler beds, maybe. That'll be good. Okay. Do you have like a... No, that's bad. Okay, it doesn't really match, but that's all right. <laughs> um, okay, if we're gonna do toddlers, I also, I might get a fancier tub for this. Okay, I didn't mess up the wallpaper I thought I might have. Um, Fancier tub, because it takes up more space. And then we'll get a toddler potty, too, if we're going to have toddlers. That'll be good. You're going to make Sims for the apartments that was on the gallery? That's going to be fun. I, it would be actually really fun to, like, try and decorate and make the Sims for these apartments. I like that sort of gameplay. Um, I'm going to give them a coat rack, I think, but one of the standing ones. So they have, like, more of an entryway. I think that's kind of cute. Yeah, see, Shrimp has been here the whole time. Oh my god, he's being really cute right now. I'm gonna- Oh! Thank you, on. Never mind, he moved. I was gonna take a picture, but he moved. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> sorry about, um, sorry about that, Shrimp. I talked about you, made you self-conscious, maybe? My bad. Okay. Let's do... There is a 
like all purple swatch. Maybe I could try and use that in here. Um. Okay. Maybe we could put, not really thinking that one. I've used that bed a lot. I haven't used this bed yet anywhere in this build. Oh yeah, his legs are hanging off the back a little bit. You be careful now, Shrimpy, okay? I don't think I like that. Maybe I'll use it anyway. <laughs> I don't think I like that, but I'm gonna use it, she says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Kayla, whatever. Um, I have never really used that swatch though, so it's probably for the best if we try and do it, because when else are we going to? This will be a good thing. It's good for us to use these swatches we don't go for very often. After 12 apartments, you make do. Yeah. <laughs> We've, um, we have gone all out at this point, trying to use different stuff everywhere. And, um, actually it's gone pretty well, I would say. All things considered. So. Yeah, Sugar, this is a new kitty. Um, that's, it's fun that you ask. I have a, there's lore behind this cat. Um, I found him in a sewer. Dead serious. Not making that up. Um, <laughs> we found, uh, my, my sister and I found, uh, three kittens and their mom. The kittens were in the sewer, the mom was outside of the sewer. Um, but we found the three kittens and their mom uh, a few weeks ago. Well, no, a couple months ago at this point. Um, and we took them in, raised them. He's about five months old now. He was five weeks old at the time. Um, so, uh, that is who that is. <laughs> his name is Shrimp. I have his sister too. I adopted, uh, both Shrimp and his sister. And my family adopted the mom and their brother, whose name was Sam. Still is Sam. <laughs> um, yeah, those are my little friends now. So, um, maybe I'll use this same thing again over here. Oh, and there's like the base game flowers have like a purple swatch. That's pretty nice, right? Okay. That's honestly kind of good. The sister's name is Sunny. That's the other one. Shrimp and Sunny are my cats. Um, okay, so we're gonna do for this toddler room. What if we use like this wallpaper? I never use this one. Um, so that might be kind of cute. Oh my God, you guys, the end is near. We're actually gonna, we're actually gonna do this. It's happening, it's happening. Okay, we're doing two toddler beds in here, we decided. Because there's no toddler space anywhere in this apartment in these apartments yet. There is a dining table, yeah, it's over there. Um Okay. That's good. Little teddy bear. Oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> I kinda like that. Um, what about infants? Oh, we, we actually did put a crib in one of the apartments, um, that's, like, downstairs. There's a crib, um, in, it's a one-bedroom apartment, so it, like, it's sort of for a smaller family, um, but they have a crib in there. So we were kind of envisioning in our heads that, like, um, they share the, they have the crib in the primary bedroom, so. It is just base game twice, yeah, it is just base game. We do not have any packs installed right now. Um, I disabled them all so that we could do a base game build for this. This might be nice. Big tall thing. Okay. Toddlers on the third floor gonna speed run the movement skill. Oh dear. Well, okay, I didn't think about that. Well, so. <laughs> Okay, okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing though, right? They're, they're never gonna leave the house. There's nothing for them outside or anything. So it's fine. They'll just be in here permanently until they age up. You're right though. When you, when you point that out, it's pretty bad seeming, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Um, a couple of those there on that wall. Get some more colors in here. They won't go outside. 
It's gonna be fine. I actually think that's probably good. Or it's toddler training, get those legs moving. Oh, <laughs> okay, Christine. Um, let's go through quick and just triple check that all the walls are fine in the hallways everywhere. And like the doors are fixed. You see, this is messed up now because I moved that door over. So we have to fix that. Um, so we have to go back and just do some triple checking in the hallways. And then um, this can be scooted over now. There's that hallway. We got this little place. I'll come back to the basement, don't worry. Oh, this one's messed up now too. Look, it's a good thing I checked. Speaking from experience, sometimes you have to tire out your own toddler for peace and quiet. Yeah, that's kind of how kittens are too. Not to compare me raising kittens to you raising a human child, Christine, but yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Just teleport it up. Yeah, if I was playing with toddlers in here, I would teleport them. I would teleport them. So, okay. That hallway is fine. This hallway has no paint problems, but probably could have the lights adjusted a tiny bit. No paint problems. Maybe could use like a plant though. No, the railings are still bugged, unfortunately. <laughs> Believe it or not, there is a railing there. You just can't see it. So, that's pretty cool, right? Really fun, exciting stuff, yeah. All right, let me show you around the whole place and then we'll put it on the gallery. So these are the full finished double apartment buildings in Willow Creek. We built these, um, we built these uh, where the, the library usually is, but I bulldozed the library and we built these instead. Um, we're using only the base game. We don't have the pack right now, um, just the base game, but we're kind of like prepping for the pack. And it's like two twin apartment buildings right next to each other, um, which is kind of fun. It's a fun feature. There's six apartments in each building. So in total, there's 12 units. Um, did I say the library? I meant the museum. I knew what I was trying to say. The library is over there. <laughs> it's where the museum is, not the library. I don't know what I was talking about. Um, I know it's the, the, the museum. I just said it wrong. Um, but anyway, so it's, it's these two. They have like kind of a courtyard in the middle of them. Oh, my terrain paint disappeared. That's right, I have to fix the terrain paint. Sorry, everybody, hold on. Um, now, the thing is, right, with the new pack, um, you... By default, it seems like there's gonna be a max of six units per apartment by default or per like rental lot or whatever. Um, obviously this one has 12, but the SimGurus have kind of teased on Twitter a little bit that you'll be able to use cheats to have more than six units. Um, so we're hopeful that this will be okay. <laughs> um, but we don't, really, we don't really know yet. We'll have to find out. Um, it's, it's all kind of an, an experiment. Um, and then I'll show you around all of them. I tried to furnish them to be kind of, kind of generic in the sense that like pretty much any Sim hopefully could use and like them. But there are a lot of um, things in there that are sort of specific to certain kinds of Sims. Like there's one that's like for an artist clearly, one's for a musician. So they're not like completely generic, um, but I was trying to make it so that like, hopefully if you wanted to play here and like live in these apartments, or if you wanted to play as the landlord, you'd be able to, um, you'd be able to like use any of them quite easily. That was what I was hopeful for. Um, it's in Willow Creek, it's in Willow Creek. It's, it's by all the default community lots in Willow Creek. So it's not really anywhere fancy. It's just where the community lots are in Willow Creek. If you're familiar with this area, like where the lounge and the gym and stuff are. Um, okay. So the terrain paint's all fixed. Yeah, outside we've got like a couple little things. There's some stuff for the kids here. Um, the windows are gonna keep messing themselves up. So, <laughs> all right, let me show you around. So on the left side of the building, uh, downstairs on the right side, we had this like small apartment. It's one bedroom um, and they have a little crib. So they have like a baby that lives th with them here in this one apartment. Um, again, quite generic, simple base game stuff. Um, they've got their bathroom there. On the left side, this one is actually bigger. It's got two bedrooms. Uh, they've got a kid's bedroom with bunk beds, primary bedroom, um, and like a small living kitchen area sort of going on. Um, 
when you go upstairs, this one's like blue and orange and belongs to a musician. So they have like a jukebox and a guitar and stuff. The theme is blue and orange in here. Um, this is their bathroom. <laughs> on the left side, this one's an artist. So they have kind of more colorful theme going on. They've got like their easel and their painting and stuff. Um, here's their bedroom, polka dot clown themed. They have a little bathroom. Uh, upstairs, top floor, this unit is bigger as well. It has like a kid's bedroom with bunk beds and a primary bedroom. It's kind of like beige and yellow and gray themed over here. <laughs> uh, and then this one over on this side is like pink and green. It's just one bedroom. Most of them are one bedroom. There's two two bedroom units in each building. So in total, there's four two bedroom units out of 12. The rest are all one bedroom. Um, but that, that's the whole left side building. And then on the right side, these are a little bit different looking. We have on this left side, this one's also two bedrooms. They have like a pink and blue color scheme going on. Um, so they've got like a little uh, desk space, their living room, kitchen area, their doors messed up. Um, bin, we have trash cans outside and there's trash cans in every single unit, I promise. <laughs> I promise, I promise. Um, but that's this one, they have two bathrooms. So they have this bigger one and a smaller one. And then over here, this one's like an athlete's apartment, we kind of said. So they have a treadmill in there, totally different color scheme. Um, upstairs, this one's like kind of uh, library themed. They have like a chess table instead of a TV, fancier kitchen, fancy bedroom, um, kind of like dark color scheme over there. And then this one is a copy of the other one that was music themed, but instead it's for plants. So they have a lot of plants everywhere. <laughs> um, and then upstairs, 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 we have on the left side, this one was supposed to be a starter home. It's kind of pricey now, I'm not sure, but um, very simple vibes, long and skinny, but you've got like a living room, kitchen, dining, and a bedroom. And then on the right side, this one has two bedrooms. There's this like purple and blue themed. So, um, and that's the whole place. That is the whole place. Unless, should I make this blue in here too? So the bathroom kind of blends into the purple and blue vibes that we went for. My ceiling light is flickering again. Sorry if you can see it. Um, can that be pink maybe? I don't know. Wow, okay, but that is the whole building. In the courtyard, they have a lot of stuff like chess tables and stuff. Oh, and the basements are completely empty. Um, we were hoping to, in the basements, when the pack comes out, add like the utility stuff, um, like the water heater from the trailer, but obviously the pack's not out yet, so we don't have them. Um, but, um, wow, okay. Should we put it on the gallery? What should we call it? Oh, oh wait, I just spoiled how much it costs. <laughs> I forgot, we were gonna try and guess. Did you see? If you saw, don't type. If you saw, don't type, okay? Don't answer. How much do you guys think this costs? How much do you think it costs? Final guesses? I had originally said 400 or more. Empty, it was 200. Empty, it was 200. Thousand. Yikes. Um, seeing a lot of 500s, a lot of 700s, 600s. Wide range. Okay, so in total, the final building costs 463,000. That's actually less than I thought it would. We can't even put the full number of units in here. It has 12. Okay. Um, should I just call it base game apartment? How about Willow Creek Apartments? Willow Creek Apartments. I built a giant apartment complex featuring 12 units. Um, eight, one, one bed, bedroom, four, no, hold on, I have to type it out. Eight, one bedroom, four, four two bedroom um, in Willow Creek. This is to replace municipal muses the museum i will update this once the pack comes out to be functional hashtag lil cindy okay ready i could probably type bed eight one bed four two bed we have more characters i was i didn't type that much um go steve thanks for the bits and my flat and SKB. thank you for the subs too Okay, ready? 
Should we go for it? I'm going for it. I think it looks really good from the outside. Put pack name. No, I'll put hashtag for rent when the pack comes out and I upload it again. Um, I think this looks really good. I'm very excited about this. I want to show you it from the from Manage Worlds because it looks really cute from Manage Worlds too. Wait until you see this. It looks like, in my opinion, really good from the map view. <laughs> I think that looks really nice. I'm really excited about that. I think I'm going to use this in a lot of my saves because I never go to the museum. So it's going to be nice to have apartments because you can get more townies in this way and stuff. Like it's just going to be, it's going to be really good. It looks like it belongs there. Like I, I'm really happy about how that looks. I think it blends in with the existing buildings and it, um, it looks good on the map. So that's what's important is that it looks good on the map, right? <laughs> who cares about, who cares about how it looks from the inside? It's just the map that matters. <laughs> um, yay. Okay. Well, this was really fun. Actually, you guys, I'm sorry that I've built so many base game, like fake apartments, but this one will be really nice. Cause when the pack comes out, we'll be able to update it real quick to be functional. Um, and then we'll use it. I'm, I'm fully going to be play testing this like <sighs> hypothetically I'll play test it this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I built this because I wanted to use it in my early access so that I could, um, like, make some videos using it. <laughs> I, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this really soon. Um, anyway, the pack comes out on the 7th, um, and, and we'll be obviously playing with it a lot when it's out, and as soon as I can post early access content, I will, so, um... Anyway, anyway, it'll be really fun. Okay, I think now I need to go drag shrimp downstairs and feed him dinner. So <laughs> thank you all so much for hanging out with us. This has been a lot of fun today. I really enjoyed this build. It's been, it's been pretty cool. Um, I won't be here tomorrow because I don't stream on Sundays, but I will be here on Monday because we're playing, actually we're playing Among Us on Monday with some of our Sims friends. Um, so if you have, um, if you've never been, well, um, we're going to play Among Us on Monday. So that'll be kind of cool. And then... What else am I doing? Let me look at my schedule. Uh, Monday's Among Us. Oh, oh, oh. Shell Challenge two Tours on Thursday. I don't think I can stream on Tuesday because Sunny is getting spayed. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know when I'm going to have to pick her up and like what the vibes are going to be like. I might like trap her in my office or something if we can, but I'm not sure what the vibes are going to be on Tuesday because Sunny's getting spayed on Tuesday. So um I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I may stream. I may not. I, I have to f see what the vibes are like. Um, so please show shrimp real quick. Yeah, hold on. There you go. There's the cat for you. He's been thriving. Very, very sleepy. Um, yeah, it'll be a little bit uh, more intense on her with her spay than it will be for shrimp when he gets neutered. Um, but it's okay. His neuter is going to be a little bit after. His is like next week instead of this week so anyway um it'll be a little bit harder for her because it's a more serious surgery to have to like I and mean, we don't need to get into this <laughs> but his parts are easier snip snip you know it's it's not as big of a problem for a boy as it is for her <laughs> um shell tours are the 30th yeah so on thursday is when we're doing them um biology class with simsy yeah <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we don't need to talk about this. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna go and raid someone who is playing The Sims. Oh, I know, one of my dear, dear friends uh, and mods, Bruin, um, is playing the Decades Challenge and has been for a while. You all know Bru. You know Bru. <laughs> Jesse, thanks for the 30 months. Um, infamous Bruin at this point. <laughs> Uh, but Bruce streams a lot and plays a lot of the Sims, so you'll probably enjoy their streams and stuff. Um, and it's it's pretty fun. Very chaotic decades challenge. Everybody's always dying and stuff. Um, and and you'll love it. Oh, did you know we're getting off stream, Shrimpy? Is that why you stood up? It's actually good timing to be... Oh, never mind. We're back down. Okay. <laughs> and never mind. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, go say hi to Brew for me. I will see you on Monday for Among Us, everybody. Um, thanks for hanging out. Have a good weekend. Miss you already. Okay, I'm on the stream now. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. <laughs> Where's my button? Okay, stop stream.